15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rashid. You got Party Tour Body. And we got two special guests, my bros, Mack Truck. Yes, sir. And we got Willie Mac North Truck, Pole. What up, man? Willie North Pole, man. Yo, I, I'm not a guest. Not at this you, point. You're a guest. You're a guest. Please don't talk. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Talk. <laughs> you don't punish me. talking right now. <laughs> you don't punish me with that flat earth bullshit. You didn't, you, you, no, you don't bring that up, because if I can't uh, do my presentation. You don't... Oh, you... I had a whole. Right. So this guy, he has a presentation. I, I had a whole full presentation. He didn't want to bring it. I had the whole smoke. Flat power. Flat power. Yeah, give it Stresses to me flat out power. with this shit because I can't tell if he bullshitting or not. Uh, but he kept saying I got a presentation. I did. I had a. I do. I have it at You've home. Been out here like five times since then. Where's the presentation? Every time I try to bring it, you won't let me on the podcast. You on air now? Come on, man. If we're gonna bring you it out, let's hold on. Ready. If we're gonna you put hear. it out, we're gonna we're gonna put, hold on, homie. This one had nothing to do with. Oh, you got my back if I fight him. <laughs> Never mind, my back. So back truck, what's good, man? What's been up? Man, a whole lot of nothing, man. Just you know, just been slow grinding on the chilling circuit. You know what I'm saying? Not the chilling circuit. Yeah, the chilling. No circuit. pork, brother. No yeah, pork. Yeah, I'm out there on the chilling circuit. Come on, man. You know? All right, but look, but one thing that has happened is I seen you 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 becoming a TikTok star. Yeah, you know, it's funny how it happened. Um, I was in a store just filming some little promos, and right. I was in there just with my shirt off, picked up a 30 case of Coors, and was like... You was in a grocery store, right? I was in Walmart. Okay. Yeah, so, so that uh, shit legal in Walmart? It's cool in Walmart? No shirt? That, that was, that was... <laughs> they just looked. <laughs> you know? So I picked up a 30. 30 right. case of Coors, and I was like, you know, why are y'all wasting your time eating food? Why would you eat chicken, beef, rice? This is what you need to get big. Oh. Stop being a pussy. So okay. I grabbed it. So 10 the carbs. Seconds. The carbs. Oh, Mr. Nutritionist. Yeah, that was how, how does that lay, how does that let play out? It's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> well, I think he I think Mac Truck has such uh, such a talent in genetic uh, composition that he uh he does that to set himself back. Take the beer. He drinks right, it because it's right. bad for him to hold himself down because he doesn't want to have to compete at the Olympia. Because <laughs> if he just if he just did shit normal, he would be. But he doesn't even do anything normal. He eat junk food. That's what I'm saying. Prep. If he did it normal, he would have to be like, "Damn, I should really compete in the nah, Olympia." Nah, but honestly though, when you prep, uh -huh. how do you eat? Because you don't eat typical prep food, right? Yeah, my diet is consists of high carbs, low protein, high fats, low protein. So. Um, for instance, I had to do a clean meal, a shit meal, meaning a dirty meal. So, um, like when I did the 12 week prep, when I turned pro, mm -hmm. I had to do uh, a lot of salmon, a lot of chicken. Mm -hmm. And um, I did um, some steak, but it had to be like an in and out burger. So, I mm -hmm. was doing a lot of For in your and beef. out. Yeah. The whole burger, the, the bread and all of that. Yeah, everything. Cheese. And you got lean like that. Yeah. How often were you eating dirty? Every day. I do I do two to three dirty meals a day and two to three clean meals. See, I ain't gonna lie. I used to be able to eat like that. See, that's crazy. But now, it just don't. I look like a different person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I look like a different person, so I can't do that. Yeah. Was that, was you, were you checking, I'm sorry, were you checking your body percent fat and stuff like that or what? I don't care about none of that. I just You could tell, yeah, you could tell yeah. by look if you're getting okay. Yeah, that doesn't yeah. matter really. Yeah, I, I don't care. Yeah, that's just a quantifier, like, just right. so you know. Yeah. Right, because at first when uh, when we first started doing a prep, I had to do all clean just to show them that I'm gonna constantly lose weight. Mm -hmm. So when I was doing the clean, we was like almost close to a weekend, and I lost 16 pounds. So you had to okay, so you had to eat like, dirty in to order get the, to, to get the calorie so, content. So so tell me this: if he wasn't eating dirty, he probably had to eat. Three times the clean food, the, and the huh? volume, and the work. volume, the volume just gets to be too much for the mm -hmm. gut. Then you have and gut that problems, might, and that might be way unhealthier than eating the dirty food. It, it, it probably, man. if that's your goal. I mean, like right. you know, no one does professional bodybuilding for the health of it, right? right, right but, right, right. but if you had to choose, for sure, I think overloading your gut 
constantly every day with that volume of food that Mack truck needs is not a good idea. And then it's probably why these a lot of these guys got these big stomachs nowadays. It's these exactly why. Stomach. It's the volume of food they yeah, gotta consume. Yeah. The large amounts because it's hard to digest. They don't digest in two mm-hmm. hours like that once you put in a, that hate, crazy amount of protein. I hate when people be like, oh, HGH gut. It's like, nah, motherfucker, he eats a food, lot. Food gut. Yeah, it's, it's the food because like us men, we don't carry purse. We carry our stuff right. in our stomach. So the food going to sit there. Okay. Like right now, I got digestive enzymes in my bag. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I take, I double it up before each meal because mm-hmm. I know it ain't going to um, break down. Mm-hmm. It's like nearly impossible when you got to constantly right. eat, constantly eat, constantly eat, you right, know. Because right. like this past, going on a month now, I've been actually doing <clears throat> my program to actually put my weight on. Because I've been between 200 and 208, mm-hmm. by what, nearly two and years right now. now. 242. Yeah, what two weeks? <laughs> yeah, about three. That's crazy. Change. That's crazy. Yeah, One time, yeah. uh, I, cause I'm I'm always around two twenty, and I was a little bit bigger than Mac, <laughs> and then we didn't see each other for a month or so. Yeah, and he was like a big bodybuilder, like two fifty <laughs> or some shit. Yeah. That shit crazy. Man. He was like, what the hell? That shit is crazy because it's a. <laughs> Like on camera, everybody think I'm so huge, right? But you see me standing next to certain people, you see, oh, okay, I got good size, but next to he's certain people, modest. like when you stand next to me, sometimes modest. you get, the- yeah, like you, you make me look small. You know what I'm saying? That's my appetite. Yeah, you, you bigger than all of us. Thank up you, in here. man. You know my heart is real big, man. Yeah. And I just, I got, heart, a question. You I got a question. You had a heart attack. I got a question. Where's part? <laughs> I got a question for you, my brother. Uh huh. Where's pork chop? Huh? Where's pork chop? <laughs> Wait a minute, man. What you know about pork chop? I'm just asking you, man. Where's pork chop, man? Oh shit. Where was pork chop during the fight, man? Man, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who, wait, who the fuck is pork chop? Beautiful, <laughs> yeah, beautiful dog. About my, my dog. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. my yeah. Uh, English bulldog. You like oh, a little okay. mini? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Pork yeah. chop. You got him now? Yeah, I ain't break him. Oh, okay. What's his no, name? Trouble? A, uh, no, no, no buns. buns. Okay. Well, how old is he? Poor job, he about to hit a year. I didn't know you had a dog. Yeah. Yeah, oh, man, shit. you should know your friends yeah. like me. That's man, my bro right He the right same right color of, um, like, you watch a watched one YouTube video. No, it wasn't like a rock rock. Look, Shana's a hater. Two, two YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't that, but I know you don't like no, you don't like people waking you up, though. I know that. Oh, nah, man. <laughs> don't do that because, like, I don't sleep. So when I do get to get my little few hours, right. it's like, please don't do it because I, it drives me crazy. Like, I wake up kind of violent. Right. You know that wouldn't bother me because I, I look like last from yesterday today i haven't slept at all yeah. i'm not exaggerating yeah you do that a lot i though. was laying in bed miserable <laughs> like i didn't want to watch tv you know what i'm saying right. and it's just like i couldn't get comfortable and i'm just laying there like 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 just a prisoner you know what i'm saying True. i don't know why that shit happens sometimes it happens every now and then but usually i get about a good two three hours of sleep man I'm, I'm telling you man you need to get into the to the meditation man you need to get into that Okay. You know what I mean? Take deep breaths, stare into the blackness of your eyes. You so, start so, seeing colors. Right, so this brother, he been been in my house consistently about six weeks. <laughs> uh-huh. I, pay, I pay his like mortgage. Two days. Two days. I pay okay, his mortgage. Right. Well, I can't help him. All right. How much is it? <laughs> 15K a okay. month. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I wish. It's one of them. All right, okay. so check it out. So he been in my house. I see what he do, right? This motherfucker just be on the phone all night, watching YouTube videos outside. Right. On the phone rapping and shit. I, it's so Mimi art. was it's not here. rap. It's we got, art. We got it's a homegirl oh, named. We got a, you know Mimi. We got a friend named Mimi. She owns a juice a juice okay. uh, shop down in uh, Newport, where she used to. But she's very you know into like crystals and meditation and all that. Right. This motherfucker over here saying, you know, I meditate every night. Motherfucker, I do yeah. meditate every night. I'm like, bro, are you oh, crazy? This nigga act like he sleeps trying with Trying to impress bro. Right, right, right. Bro, let, hold on, let, hold on. Before you, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before it's you, loud. Like, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, before, before you play yourself, track. before you play yourself, everybody oh that knows me, you know, I got the king, I got singing bowls, I got all the rocks, obsidian rocks, I got all the rocks, everything. That just say you're a collector. That don't say that you No, I meditate. Hold on, hold on. I don't I don't even need that, but I go to bed to 432 hertz every night. Are you one of them every uh, single night? What, grand rising people, grand rising queen. No, I, I float out grand when I wake rising. up. Man, that shit drives that's me. Hey, crazy. hold on. When I wake Sean, up, you don't know about this. This is some dumb black. This shit. some crazy shit. Like man, he I literally stopped talking to this grand female. rising. No, she hell no, hell no. I said, right. oh, top of the a.m. Oh, grand rising king, Dilly. Right. 
See that's that, that's that's, that's mainstream. Okay. That's mainstream. Okay. That's mainstream. It's a okay. that's a religion. You're a woke woke, right? right no, sure. that's no, that's religion. That's All just right. a religion. That's what's up. All right, so let's 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 bring it back in. I'm saying now, we know there's a way to meditate. Go ahead. I just want to talk. Go ahead. You can talk. Go ahead. I just got back up. I'm confident now. You know you're ready. Go ahead. All right, so check it out. So I've been doing. So one, I was in in Miami a few months ago, right? Mm-hmm. And my YouTube rep told me about these guys out there, fresh and fit. He said, "Yeah, I should do a collab." And I checked them out. Like, all right, cool. They seem cool, and they were cool. I like them a lot. They had a dope setup. We had a cool talk, and then um, we did two episodes, one in the day and one at night. At night, they have a bunch of girls on there. It just wasn't my vibe, you know what I mean? Because the girls were dumb. But I've seen other episodes when they have the girls and they're like good. Like good talks, right? Mm-hmm. But that night it was just like I was sitting there like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but nonetheless, a lot of their followers had a problem with what I said about women, right? Like how I treat women and all that. Cause I, I treat them good. You know what I'm saying? So what's wrong with that? Yeah, all right, let's, let's get into that. <laughs> so there's a community called the Red Pill. Have you heard of that? Nah, only on the Matrix. Right. Same. I never heard me, of that until me, this day, right? Me, me, me too. Well, I didn't even hear about it that day because they never said anything about it. I just seen the comments and motherfuckers like, oh, Mike's a simp. He's a simp. Oh, and I'm like, that shit was like stinging. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, I'm like, I'm trying to see what the deal is, what the fuck. And then after that, it was like a bunch of different YouTubers making videos about my conversation with them, breaking it down and like, well, he's a alpha simp. He's a... And it's weird. So it's a whole community. And I'm not shitting on this community. I'm shitting on a lot of people in it because a lot of people in it is legit like a like a, a, a men's... Chauvinist? A, nah, men's help group. Oh, okay. Like men right. who may have issues with dating and shit like yep. that. Yep. They complain about modern women, right? They say they're, they're masculine, unagreeable, yada, 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 right? So... I've been having debate after debate after debate with these motherfuckers, and it's just very interesting. So they have their whole ideology on, we know what women want, and we're trying to teach guys how to navigate through dating and shit like that. And really what it is is like, they're shoot. maybe you've shot for a girl who might be here. Yeah. You down uh, here. Uh, yeah, you got to stay in your level. You got to stay in your lane right. until you <laughs> win this level. That's why, I, yeah. and this is all I've been trying to say to these guys, right? Not the guys fresh and fit, because them the homies, but like their community. And so like me and them being on the same level, that's cool. But we have all these thousands of millions of people listening to us. So I'm trying to like teach them. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, right. cause y'all, y'all motherfuckers sound dangerous. Y'all sound like y'all <laughs> like hate, they women. hate women. Yeah. Right. So I'm trying to like come like now nah, young, young, youngster, I'm trying to show you how to level up and get your shit together. Then you go out there because I tell them like like when I was when I was young. And I didn't have my bread together. You know, I'm not in nobody's face. I'm hustling. I'm grinding. Facts, I'm working right. overtime, whatever, stacking my chips. You know what I'm saying? So trying to level up, level up, level up. And then when you get to a certain level, and I try to tell them, all that shit y'all complain about, I don't have those complaints. And then they say, well, Mike, you've, you, you've always had it made. You got the physique. You got money. Yada, yada. It I didn't come overnight. I, right. <laughs> I was broke. I was poor yeah. and I was skinny as fuck. You right. know what I'm saying? So I'm like, right. the reason I'm where I'm at, because I put in the fucking work. And I try to tell these people that, but they it's like they ignore that. And they're like, what about those average guys? I, I was average, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So what's your whole take on both of y'all? What's y'all take on like the dating world or is the dating scene fucked up nowadays? Are women we were talking about it earlier, and you were saying about women being super independent and all right. that shit. Yeah, is right. that a problem? Like, like where y'all at? I, with I feel like women being too independent. I think that comes from like the music they listen to and stuff. Just that whole mentality. Music? Heck yeah! Like Meg The Stallion and Cardi B and them. You know what I mean? Like I think women, even Beyonce. I love Beyonce, but I think that. That end of that women independent stuff. I think women should do their thing, but just have that I don't need a man attitude. I think that's not. But is they, that's are they unbalanced. Really saying bro. They don't need a man. Well, I don't yeah, hear I'm that. saying in that category because exactly. But she's forever. teaching that to your daughter, his daughter. You see but what she's I'm not teaching. She's, she's not teaching nobody. Yes, she is. You don't need yes, a man. she is. Yes, women. There's a lot of women. All my single ladies. All my single ladies. All that missing. Let me cater to you. She only put on this right. independent and yeah, but she was upgrade you. Wants to do doctor type of stuff, but just ultimately, nah, she's not in that category now. Megan, you sure? 
Man, okay, I'm gonna, okay I'm I don't want the bees coming after us. I'm going to leave it alone. No, I'm positive because, <laughs> you know, like I grew up in a, in a lot of those okay, areas. But you know what I'm trying to say, though? You know where I'm going with it. certain things. Now, when you say Cardi B and you say Megan, I can see some truth in that. But mm. at the same time, that ain't, it ain't, that ain't. What's really making the women like that? Because a lot of the women that are uh, so women will look at you crazy if you ask are them the, the ones that actually in position to feel that way. Right. Now you have the broke chicks that feel like they could be that way, right? But then you go to their crib, they got a blow up mattress on the floor. <laughs> so I don't even pay them. The golden no roaches. Right. Now the thing, a, a strong independent woman is attractive, as long as you don't try to control me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. If you can hold your own, that let me know. Like if. The ship was to sink and I fall, I like I make a bad investment or whatever, that you can still hold us both both up until you know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, the man's still supposed to lead. I just don't believe women in the past, like like the great women of the past had that attitude. Of, what what's the attitude though? What attitude? Of a lot of these women that scream independent, they'll look at a man, they'll judge him, or they'll look at a man and say, uh, I don't I don't need but you, you just know. brought up the great women of the past. Yeah, great, great women of the women past like, that had husbands. These aren't the, those kids. aren't the great women of the present. Either. Yeah, because you got to remember, in the past, those women weren't really able to learn. They was only able to have kids and be in the kitchen. To learn how to be feminist? Uh, no, like the <laughs> great women go to was school. only oh, there to saying. raise the children, yeah. you know what I'm saying, right. cook, clean. They, they was pretty much... Slave mentality. Women though. used to have you no see what rights. I'm so and his his was interesting. There's people of that mind state that I've seen it, motherfuckers that we all know on Instagram saying women shouldn't vote. I'm like, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Really? That's you know what I'm saying? So it's like let's say a woman is headstrong, all that sh- like like what you said, I prefer a capable woman. Right. right. I don't want a sorry chick. That got yeah. nothing. She's no no talent, no work ethic, no none of, none of that. Right? right? I don't want that. I'm not intimidated by a woman, a bossy chick. I like it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah it's, but in the in the in the man woman dynamic, you're not gonna be bossy to me. Exactly. Just you, don't. You try bossy, to be and that's cool. Yeah. And you 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 got my back. I love that. You know what I'm saying? But like, cause my girl is very strong and capable. And rides she, a fucking can, Harley, right? With me on the back, with, exactly. Oh, <laughs> back holding her waist. Oh, back yeah. that. So, so, but and she might intimidate a lot of guys, but mm-hmm. I love that shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And she's very feminine with me. Mm-hmm. So, but that's the thing, though. Nobody would be complaining, men. If men was just getting their shit together and stepping their shit, that's the, no. There's a difference. Not, no, yeah. there's a difference between a successful woman that's independent, that's single. I'm not knocking her. That's fine if she makes more money than anybody. I'm just saying there's women out there that be like, I don't need no man. I can, you know. Yeah, what so I mean? why do you even care about that, them? Yeah, why you care about them? Those are the ones with the blow up man. L- leave them alone. Like why? <laughs> are still standing yeah. at their parents. Listen, house with a woman that has that mentality, I'm not a pro. I'm not dealing okay. with. Okay, yeah, like all right, I don't so we talking about all right. stuff. Like for instance, my, I get what you're saying. Like my lady. You know, she 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 runs her own firm. You know, she's yeah. a um, a real estate broker. So she have nothing but a women's staff, mm-hmm. and she run it like an iron fist. But when she come home, she's very submissive. You know what I'm saying? She the only thing different is I do the cooking. Right. She got OCD. But she you cleans. like cooking, though. Know? Yeah, I love to yeah. cook. You know, yeah. I love doing that. Like yeah. she know how to cook, but mm-hmm. I just love to cook. Right. So it's like we got balance. Right. Once she realized that you can't control me, don't try to dictate and control me because her previous relationship, she wore the She's pants the dumb, and the yeah. dress. So I'm like, you can't do that over here because I know how to do everything on my own. Mm-hmm. I know how to wash. I know how to clean. I know how to cook. I know how to do everything on my own. And she was like, you know, you really don't need a woman. No, I don't. I need. But see, that's kind of us having that same attitude too. What he just exactly. said. Yeah, like I need companionship. Like I don't hate women. Now the women that saying they I don't need so. a man, they hate men because of however the father figure they had. So you know, you gotta look deeper into yeah. it. You know. Yeah, and they probably didn't have a father. Yeah, they probably didn't have. Or one. the father was a scumbag. They yeah, don't have so a, they don't they don't have a respectable man. In they life. don't have respect for men. Now us as men, if you're strong enough and if you like the woman. You work with her, get yeah. counseling. You'll do whatever it takes to try to get her to see that all men are not like that. You okay. see what I'm saying? Okay. You know, mm-hmm. like I've been married twice. Both marriages end the way they end. 
I'm not afraid of marriage. You know what I'm saying? Were you the divorce initiator, not to be in your business? Or? The first one I was, the second one I wasn't. Okay, you so know? it's 50-50 so then. I still don't truly understood why we got the divorce, but right. you know, I fought for the marriage okay. enough or whatever, okay. and I'm glad it's over because if it wasn't, I wouldn't have married. You, would, you, would, married you, you wouldn't yeah. be here right now? That's yeah, like, you know, work. like I was so mentally messed up, I sold my house and everything, right. you know, so... Man, like it's love, bro. It like, happens. no, it's just it it throws you off. Yeah, you know, because sometimes you Y'all meet the right one time. for yeah, yeah, yeah. You meet the right one for that time, but in order to keep on going to level, some things got to get left behind. Mm-hmm. Right. So I chose to sacrifice the marriage by not being my choice. I chose to sacrifice that in order to keep climbing. Okay. And I went to the next level and there's somebody already on a higher level than me that can still help pull me up a little higher. You see what I'm saying? Let me ask you this. When you and your girl click now, mm-hmm. that other one, that old old feelings was out the door, right? Nah, it still takes time. Took over? still took time? Yeah, it still takes time because, you know, I have 16 years invested. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it still takes time. Mm. You know, it's just, I know that I'm not fit. Like once the divorce is done, I feel like this. As long as I'm on paperwork, it's still my obligation to take care of you. Right. We've been in separate. We've been separated. We've been in separate uh, homes and all of that. I still did my part. She That's, didn't do hers. This I still is, did see, my part. See, this is. Cool. I agree with all of that, right? Mm-hmm. But that whole little world over there would say that's simping. No, nah, that's just but being that's, a man. That's being a man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's being a man. We wasn't listen, taught to that's do that. That's funny you said that. Listen, you know, I listen, wasn't taught It's that. different my, levels and generations. Like, people were like, yeah. I don't know, like maybe a month ago, my baby mom came and stayed with us. She stayed in my house with me, my woman, and my baby girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Willie. Get the fuck. I was, I was there for a day or two. <laughs> but we had, we, we, it's all peace, it's all love. We hung out together, we went out, you know what I'm saying? And people were like, damn, how you pull that off? I'm like, why wouldn't I like mm-hmm. there's no like the women in my life we we have deep meaningful relationships even if we ain't together no more right we had a beautiful child together and I, I love my child and I love the mother of my child mm-hmm. so I'm gonna treat her she's one of my best friends honestly you know what I'm saying right. and just like how you said y'all got 16 years invested it's like me and me and um my daughter's mother Maya she she when I was at my lowest when I was incarcerated I'm watching people's wives change their phone numbers on them and shit like yeah. that. Damn. And she, me and her wasn't even talking at the time. She came and found me. You wow. know what I'm saying? She came to the jail, all of that. And I'm like, dang, this is this is crazy. So she's a solid person. Yeah. And I always hold her down. I always mm-hmm. got her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, but but see, it's like I attract people with character because I try to be a man of character myself. You know right. what I'm saying? So, you know, my exes, like, they're, they're dope. They're solid. You know right. what I'm saying? Um, it shouldn't be like, oh, I hate this motherfucker. I yeah. hate that. They don't have no, no, nobody from my past that was really in my life right. have anything bad to say about me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I and I, okay. I have an ego, so I make sure I you know I do whatever I got to do to make sure that everybody's good. Right. Cause I got this thing, and I tell people all the time, <laughs> my girl hate when I talk about this, but I'm like, yo, I know I'm gonna die one day, and I don't know when that's you gonna always be. Always talk about that. I don't know when it's gonna I be. Know. So I would prefer for my last interaction with people to, to be, be pleasant. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I die tomorrow, they have yeah. good things, good memories. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're gonna remember the most recent thing that exactly. happened. That's the way the brain is ordered. Right. Yeah. Like whatever happened the most recent is what you're gonna remember. Yeah. So I, it's it's important. It is important right, to, right, to maintain right. relationships like that. Where do you draw the line of like the controlling versus having just a good relationship dynamic? You said because you've said it a few times now. Mm-hmm. As long as she doesn't try and control me, well, what's control mean to you? Versus, control it versus is, just a um, relationship. Like, well, our issue was dictating on where to go, how long you gonna be there. You know, like those types of situations. so micromanaging or, or micromanaging. I guess so, and that that kind of comes back to trust. Then yeah, so exactly. So, um, but it, it don't necessarily have to be trust. It could be she just really want to hang out with you too. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. like she like man, she'd be with me if she could right now. That's why I'm so, glad she got a career. Right. You know, cuz um it's like those type of things because I'm spontaneous as hell. So, mm-hmm. it's like I might just want to jump up and do something right now and I don't want you to be So why are you doing that again? Like when I started the motorcycle club. Mm-hmm. Oh, you like motorcycle chicks. 
She like motorcycle chicks. I'm gonna go learn how to ride a motorcycle then because you like motorcycle chicks. Man, I don't like that. Like half of them ain't got their teeth. Like I don't like That's motorcycle damn. chicks. Here's the thing, like about jealousy, it's healthy, it's normal. Now I don't think acting on it in a certain way is good. Yeah. It could be like all of these feelings that people have. Like I don't want to be with somebody that never feels any jealousy. Right for me, yeah. That means they don't really care. Some, they don't really give a shit. You it's, it's, it's healthy jealousy, right? That's cute, and, and I then think it's possessive craziness. I got to get a restraining order. And jealousy. some of the things that they might say, like, "Oh, you like motorcycle chicks?" She don't mean that. Mm-hmm. She just really want to hang she out with you. Have all my. She want to yeah. have my to make sure that I'm not fit to. And I think be that's. On this and I on think this. that's yeah. ideal. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Me personally, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I agree. Sean, yeah, so, you, you 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 don't have these problems. You know, you never had these. Those problems. ain't problems though. Not not pro- problems. Yeah, that's not a problem. I mean, the, 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 it's just the, the, small having your girl having your girl desire your time and attention is a privilege. In my opinion. Yeah, yeah. If does you don't she have say, that, you don't really who have you anything. Who you texted? Exactly. Huh? <laughs> she nah, nah, yeah, she doesn't say. And 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 she's had the she's had the you know I've I've done things and she knows this too. So it's not even a secret for the podcast. I did. I've done things like giving her my the password to my phone and yeah. purposely left it where I know she could go through it, right. and I'm sure she has. She doesn't have to admit it. Mm. I'm sure she's gone through my phone on different times and probably has checked to see did he ever change that password, right. and I haven't. So yeah. she knows that if she ever feels that she needs to, she could go in there because I'm not doing anything that I wouldn't feel comfortable explaining to her. Yeah. So well, we know that's, that. that's the type of... We all of, know that. I think everybody that's watching this is that, know That's it. the type of trust. So, But if you if you can establish that, right. then it's a good... It's going to be an open dynamic where she knows whatever I'm doing. Even if I don't answer, I'm doing something that I felt was important. You yeah. know, and if you trust me, then I, whatever I was doing was important. Yeah. And I will I will hit, hit you back as soon as possible. Right. 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 See, that'd be a message that I'd be wanting like a lot, a lot of young dudes uh, to adopt. And it's like... It makes your life so much easier when you ain't got shit to hide. If you're in somebody's life, you're trying to be in a real relationship, you just got to keep it 100. Yeah. And like when people turn their phone down, you know, they I'm like, BS. why are you doing that, bro? Like when I see my homies, I'm like, bro, why are you doing that? It looks bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because so, they look at those small things. Yeah, man. And, or put your phone on airplane. Look, fellas, you think that. These girls don't know. They don't see the little airplane at the top. You, <laughs> come on, man. They probably doing it too because you doing it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and I always say this though: men control the temperature in a relationship. So, motherfucker right. be like, "Oh man, she crazy, bro. She be tripping." Da, da, da. I'm like, "Bro, what did you, what did do? you do? Yeah, yeah what did you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's always you us. You do do that. You do say that. It's always us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And so, that is such a good way to put it. Uh, mm-hmm. I haven't really. I, I've heard that maybe before, but it just really sunk in when you said that because. Uh, a man's willingness to step forward is going to be matched by the yeah. woman. Like if you if you let it be known that you're serious about this, whether you mean it or not, they're gonna they're gonna match you, and yeah. they're gonna try and and keep up, and they're gonna invest heavily. And a woman's feelings is not like a man's, in my in my opinion. It's they're not, they're, they're not. very so deep and, and very just very like from the heart somewhere mm, different yeah, than a guy yeah, yeah. i don't even know if we're capable of the same way we have our own way of course right. but, but they're they, different i agree with yeah, you. yeah they, they love in a different way and, yeah. and, and you know you don't want to take advantage of that you don't want to hurt that so yeah. it is best to be honest and open mm-hmm. and the thing is like you know when when guys is kind of being secretive you can't really be mad at your girl for being for ma- mirroring you you know what i'm saying yeah because like i look at it like we the sun in the solar system Right, generating the, the light, the energy, the heat. They're the moon reflecting our shit. You know what I'm saying? The moon don't generate its own light; it just reflects the light from the sun. So if we reflect in some shady light, yep. it's gonna be the right. same thing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're just dealing with a rotten motherfucker, right. that's a whole different story. But chances are, like nine times out of ten, it be us. Yep. It be us with the dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And me personally, I just don't want to deal with that kind of shit. So it's best for me to just. Keep it 100. Yeah, you got to just put it out there. And I think that's the one thing that saved my situation because um, before we even got to this point, she came in when I was still in my process of Mm -hmm. growing and healing and actually learning to love myself. I'm like, damn, I thought that was selfish to love yourself. Mm -hmm. I always thought that, you know. So she's coming in that. So I was always open. Mm -hmm. So, like, even when I went on the shopping spree, all these women and everything, and Mm -hmm. she knew, she's aware of it, like, I told you, this is what I got to do. I got to get it out mm-hmm. of my system. Right. And, like, if you, you the one, you the one. If not, 
like I was willing to blow it all because I still had to go through those steps, those mm-hmm. phases because I never been single a day in my life. You you was being honest with yourself. Hell yeah, I had to. Yeah, you know? be and I took advantage of actually being able to go through those steps to be able to relate to it when mm-hmm. people like, oh, I know single life ain't for me. Mm-hmm. Like it's boring as shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And there's no fun in a different fucking energy. Right. Every fucking nation. Motherfuckers like night. shit. Hey, somebody out there listening like shit. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> Listen, when I was single, I had fun. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. But it got, different I, it, it got to old. You down it got, it got old. Yeah. Everybody gotta go through that shit. Yeah, and I but had to experience it. You grow out of that. And typically. I was like, this not for me. It's so. weird. <laughs> it's weird when motherfuckers don't grow out of it though. Yeah. That's oh weird. man. You know what I mean? I got partners that's fifty seven, down there sixty, still dressing like that shit is annoying. R. Kelly. Man, worse like man, he's still like, like a teeny bopper. <laughs> yeah. And and circling the schools. Right. Oh, playing computer on. love. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's still popping. Yeah. So like, so back to your dating question. Mm-hmm. Were you were you asking is is something wrong? Do y'all th- be if you listen to a lot of the narrative like people like Kevin Samuel yeah. and all these people, it's a oh it's women, it's just a huge problem with women. You know what I'm saying? But I thought he believed we shouldn't date anyways. Is, is Kevin it Samuels? He said there nah, shouldn't be no dating. I, I never heard that. Nah, he didn't say that. No, I thought, yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe I, see, I think that. he said if you date for like two or three years, that's your fault. If it didn't work out, why was y'all dating for so long? I've heard. I mean, that's that a long time to date. If, if you dating somebody for two years, you you ain't you wasting her yeah. time. Yeah, yeah you don't really like her like that. That's obvious. Okay. I don't believe you need a, three years to. You would know if that's decide. your person. You in, in, month, in a matter of months or yeah. weeks, sometimes right. weeks yeah. is early, but so you I, you, so, you you so know that you know that core that you know you that I'm core not person because not everybody believe in marriage exactly you know me I I believe in it mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I'm a fan of it mm-hmm. I'm not afraid of it right. you know if I gotta keep until I get it right I I know for a fact I got it right yeah I'm not mad I at got that. it right I'm not mad at that now you yeah. know but um, those don't believe in it they say it's just paper. Mm. Money is just paper, but we need it. Me personally, I would marry for her. Like if that was her day. Then you don't need to get married then. You need to marry for yourself because this is who you want to actually get old with. Me personally, I I want to be married. So it's like, it's official. We could say it's official. That's cool. Yeah. And it's official to us. But I wanted to be official on, on all fronts, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. And yeah, give me the, yeah, run me that paper. It's cool. Because mm-hmm. yeah, I'm I mean, in this, I'm, yeah, we, we're in this day, society, yeah. and that that is something that is in the society. And you know, yeah. And, and and look, I'm going. I'm doing my like my family ancestry. So it's all it's all documents. You know right. what I'm saying? So yeah, I want us to be linked when we're yeah. long gone and dead yeah. as family. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want people to go back and see Mike and Evelyn. Boom! This is their part of the family tree. You know right. what I'm saying? That's right. important to me. Right. You know. See, I believe. I believe. When I said. When I said that. That I wasn't saying that I'm not gonna respect the day. I'm saying I would. I. I personally. I believe in bonds. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? I believe you can love somebody if you want to be with them for the rest of your life. You are gonna know that. And if she want to get married, you should. You shouldn't have a problem with it. If that's what she, you know what I mean. Yeah, but, 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 but you wouldn't. Have but you wouldn't want to just do it, huh? Like you. you, you it, you no, I, I would do it. do it if that like I, it's, it's, I'm only not if doing a woman wanted to do reason. it. But, I would probably ask what, her to marry me. So you, so then you like it too. I would probably ask her to marry me, probably. Just, probably. just, just to, just to make it look, you know, make it you look. Just want to be the good guy. Just to make it <laughs> look. Yeah, look yeah, what? Be the good guy. If I want to be with her, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask her to marry me. But at the same time, this is a 180. Hold on, this is a 180. At the same time, I personally, me personally, I don't feel like I feel like. I'm, I, it's just like having a baby, like you know what I mean. Like no. I feel like, Mm-mm. yeah, it's, 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 it's a it's a bond. What right? about having a baby? That's like, not a bond. Know, that's a physical. You, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have. <laughs> me, I made mistakes, but you shouldn't have a baby by someone you really don't want to be with. But do you have? Do you want to be on a baby's birth certificate? Your kid? Yeah, of course. So why not be on a certificate of marriage for your wife? Yeah, Ooh. that's what I'm saying. I'm no, that means no. That, you just say I didn't never say you acting like I'm anti. But you you said I will, I would get married because she wants yeah, you with the big butt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, you said, said you would do it for her. For her. Hold on, don't be treating me like I'm not part of y'all pill. I'm part of the good pill. 
He yeah. ain't no pill, motherfucker. <laughs> we know him. The red pill that is talking about. I don't need no pill. Look, the thing is, Listen. like me, from what I'm getting from what you're saying is, you only want to do it just to make her happy. I will do it to make her happy, but and that's not. So you don't want to because I know people that's been together for twenty like years that ain't married. End up with I know the second and third. You, you no, got. I know it. people that's they been still together for years. Married. It's called common law. Common law marriage. Yeah, I'm cool with all that. So why not? Have I want a ceremony? I want to do all the. If flashes. you're gonna be common law married, you should be married. Bro, yeah, married. you should be married. At least have fun like, with it. Yeah. You didn't see this motherfucker's wedding? What? I want yeah, that shit exactly. Yeah. I want to do he that. Was on, uh, Seven million dollars. That, that, um, that was that. That uh, was that. Temptation Island situation. All <laughs> right, that right, right. I was right. like, this is some dope. That shit. Was I should have showed that. She what was, was like? We're getting me, married. Let me tell you what was real fly about it. It was be- the house, Beverly Hills Mansion, right? Fly cars, all of that shit, right? Like, but. Sean and Arpy, I know them. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I seen when he met her, like, I seen how that shit grew. And I, this, like, he was saying shit to me, like, like, I, I want to make her happy. She makes me so happy. Like, a couple years ago, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And when you, when you was giving your vows on, on the altar, that shit had your boy all up in his feels. Yeah. Because I know how real that shit is. And I, and you such a good dude. She's such a good woman. And y'all together. You could take anybody else and put in that spot with all of the nice shit. It'd have been like whatever. It ain't gonna be the same feeling. That shit was magical because of because of y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I I it's real love on that shit on, mm-hmm. with with them, and that shit is the dopest shit in the world. To to sit back and observe, I'm like, damn, smart. Okay, that I want to get that was, I want to get married now. Okay, okay I want to get married. I want to get married. Yeah. <laughs> I can only I can only say that I hope I really hope for everyone. To feel the way that I felt that day, yeah, to in their life, like it was. I'm not shitting you guys. It was the best day of my fucking life. Mm, yeah, it was so. It, it was so fucking good. <laughs> like I can't imagine a duplication of that feeling. I'm sure it will be when I have. If I yeah, if I'm blessed child. to have a child, yeah. yeah, that will be the 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 next one. Yeah. But that hit was better than the, any any amount of sales we've ever done. Mm. Which <laughs> I value all those things. Right. Any any place I've ever been, anything I've ever done, graduating high school, college, it was all that shit rolled up into one because. There were so many people that I love also there just and watching me. My it. parents was there. You know, I had my my best friends with me. It was just so her people, her parents. It was so good. Like, and they're all there, and I, and we're just professing our love for each other on this little mini stage. And it's this, official, official. And the, yeah, it yeah. was it was so dope, bro. I I want everyone to do it. Yeah, <laughs> see, see, and, I'm and, envious. The thing was, it was like all your loved ones was there, especially your parents and your family. And they were so fucking proud, yeah. and and I'm I'm like a thinker, thinker's thinker, right? So I'm thinking about her father. Like I'm like you, you proud, you happy, right? Yeah, you like gotta be got it right because <laughs> she got a stand up guy that's taking care of her that loves yeah. her to death. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I know my daughter's is little and shit, but I be thinking like I'm gonna be right there with her the whole like who the fuck is this guy? Like you know what I'm saying? Right. But you know. I pray she finds that kind of uh, guy like you. You know what I'm saying? So, and no, I'm not saying like me because I was a terrible dude growing like a good portion of my life. You know what I'm saying? But you and, took uh, care of your kids. Oh yeah, you still always, do, so always, always, just, always. Just still some. But some you know, good I learned. Here. Here's the You're thing. You're a terrible person, but it's some thing. good in here. <laughs> Horrible. I keep it. I keep it 100. I'm gonna keep it one million, right? So I got my father a little later on in life. I knew him, but we was far apart, and. My father never taught me like how to treat a woman. You know what I'm saying? Um, I seen how to treat a woman with my grandparents, my grandfather, my grandmother. They were incredible. That was love, right? And they loved the hell out of us, all, all of the grandkids. But I never had that, my dad just really pumping wisdom in, in me like that when it comes to relationships. You know, so when it came to like women, I didn't want to hear nothing from my father. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's giving me bad advice yeah. like literally not just leading by example but he's giving me verbally bad advice mm. and i'm just like why are you Feeding saying you that? why are you saying that like yeah. i don't want to and i remember at a certain certain point i was like i don't want to hear nothing about women from him you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of shit i had to bump my head a lot you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so but i did and i learned so i try to give my son like real precise wisdom you know what i'm saying and even my oldest son Sharon, like he got a girlfriend they live together now and I, I sat him down like, look, boy, you take care of that girl, bro. 
you gotta you you need to get an extra job, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Come over here, get some food, I I'll hook it up. Mm -hmm. But you do extra for her, you know what I'm saying? And take all of them stupid apps off your phone, focus on you getting your life, like advancing your life and her. That's it. Yeah. Because you know when you're young, he you'll be you have somebody and he over here looking just to look. Yeah. Don't do that shit. And I and I and I know that. That's Social good. media makes it so easy, yeah, it's easy to keep doors open and shit. Yep. But fuck, it ain't cool. It ain't cool. So I, I try to dump a lot into my boys. Like what I know, what my father didn't wasn't able to do for whatever reason with me. And I know your father did because your father was he's a great guy. You know what I'm saying? So um, you know, a lot of it is what it is. I made the best out of my situation growing up. But I had to learn on the job. I had to learn late. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, right. The intimacies of man and woman and, and how to really respect a woman. And I always respected women, but I didn't always respect them in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was very selfish. Right. But I grew out of that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I just want, want my kids to have real love and yeah. be happy. And, like, this is what I... I, I want to hear what you want for your kids, but this is what I want. And you... I want nothing for them but to be independent of me like to not need me and to be happy right. that's it that's all I want independent and happy yep. right those are two very important things mm -hmm. cause like right now I had a 21 year old boy she call on daddy for the smallest shit and I be yeah. like you gotta do better so right, she was right, dating right. this one dude and I found out I was like asking her question like what do you do oh he in college okay what is he majoring in Oh well, he just uh, trying to figure out he playing basketball. That's not who you need to talk to. Mm -hmm. Like y'all could just be friends, and then she gonna right. tell me, Dad, I um, I realize I date bums because that's all I see my mom dating. I'm like, but your daddy not a bum, so mm -hmm. that ain't no excuse. Right. I'm like, so just words of advice: the dude you talking to, don't put no more energy into that mm -hmm. because both of y'all like you know what you want to do. You right. going to school for medical. You doing the right. R. You ever had to intervene? In any no. relationship? No, because she pretty much listened to me. Right. You know. How like, is she again? 21. 21. Like, Bro, she, she's to. still a good student. Like, in college, she's yeah. been in 3.0 on up since right. uh, middle school on into college had, and everything. I had so. to intervene in my mother's relationship once. Yeah, I did that with my mom. So, <laughs> yeah. My mother was like, baby, I need some money. I'm like, I just sent you money. Yeah, I know. I said, but what happened to it? Oh, so and so, he borrowed some money. He gonna give it back on. I said, whoa, 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 what? <laughs> Excuse me. I said, mommy, you will leave that man, or I'm gonna come out. You're gonna end that, or I'm gonna come out there and I'm gonna end it. Yep. I don't give a fuck. I'm wrong. I don't yep. give a fuck. Yep. I'm gonna. You not borrowing my, my money from my mother? To be just Are you giving him money. Like, yeah. You a grown? You a old a man? Old man. <laughs> you a whole old man. Where your social security check at? Yeah. Yeah. Social you know what security asking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm like, nah, mommy, that's that has to stop now. That reminded me of the dude at the gym who won't let his dad talk to anybody because oh. he doesn't want. <laughs> this was some other shit. That was different though. <laughs> All right, so you don't want to lose the trust fund. Yeah, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Yeah. yeah, his dad. So this guy, I already know this guy's name, but we always see him in the gym. Name's and Doug. Sean, Doug, <laughs> Doug. I didn't, I didn't dox him. Yeah, Sean did. Yeah. So anyway, so the guy would be talking to us about his dad. His dad was older, and his dad, I think he bought a Benz, right? He had a Mercedes. He, but he, he wanted was, to like he was trying to buy one or something. Yeah, but he's like controlling the money. Like, that's not responsible. I'm like, he's old, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Let him live his Let life. Let him live his life. And he wants girlfriends, and I, I don't approve. I'm like, excuse me, motherfucker? He mad because his dad probably get more action than him. Oh, of course. Okay. His, dad, his dad doesn't care because, you know, his wife's passed on, and he's, like, trying to just live his life He want to get fun. his golden years over with. Yeah, he's trying to have fun. And, and his son's like, wait a minute. You know, I yeah, can't just have like you. being like a father to him. Yeah. He, yeah. He's basically like, I'm not letting him date anyone unless if she's got the same amount of money Get or more. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, wow. Get the fuck like, out of here. Because I don't want anyone using him. His dad ain't thinking like, about What do you care? He just, wants to, he just wants to fuck around and he just have fun. Yeah. He, he trying to smash something. He, he don't even he want to be here no more. He got a more. bottle full of pills, blue pills. Yeah. He's trying to put them in the shoes. He's ready to go out yeah. and in the blaze of glory with two blue yeah. pills. Doug yeah. ought to be ashamed of his so, uh, so my daughter is 17, right? Mm -hmm. And she don't, you know, I hope she's still not messing around <laughs> you know but you know how that go um how did you deal with that <laughs> i got three daughters when so they transition to that like <laughs> i just always you know I, I have six sisters okay so 
and I have a lot of girl cousins and auntie. So I, the, the the men are surrounded by women majority. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't no getting used to like I already seen and heard and okay. hear it all. So okay. it's just me being more supportive of my daughter and not being demanding and letting right. her know this is what it is. But like when I like when I told her in a respectful manner, like you might want to stop talking to this dude because he don't know where he want to go in life, and you do, and you don't want to waste too much time on that. Then she tell me like, "Oh no, it's another dude. You know, he just um went to the service, yeah, so I'm yeah. just killing time with yeah. him." So I told the dude, he was like, "She said, Dad, he want to meet you. She got him on Facetime." I'm like, "Oh, what's going on, dude?" He was like, "Oh, how's it? Oh, oh, how's it going? And this and that, sir." And I said. Oh, just to let you know, you you just a fill in right now. She's waiting on some dude. <laughs> you hated on her. She said, yeah, "Why did you say that?" I said, "Because you told me that." You told me. So I'm letting them know, don't get honest. comfortable. Like honest. you know, yeah. don't get comfortable. Oh, you know. And my daughter was Put like, on his toes. Yeah. yeah, my daughter was like, "Dang, she didn't get mad at me. She just right. was like, she was like, man, you a jerk, dad.' I said, "Oh shit, you we told me, so I told you." So I told him. So bro, so you didn't, you don't know if your daughter's dating or not? Is she dating? No, she just told me she's dating a dude. She just told me, um, she said, Dad, I want to talk to you about a guy. I said, cool. Um, we was in the car. He in college right now. Oh, no, that's yeah. out. He's in college. She's she, 17. She, she's 17. She, that's she, out. Yeah, he, they, they, they're not together. They nah, that's yet. about hold normal on, age, on, though. College. Yeah, but you know. She, she was last year. Listen, 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 <laughs> listen they, just, they just talking on the phone. They haven't went on no dates or nothing, but they know each other from high school. You like get he what was I'm a saying? senior. Yeah. So what? He a freshman in high school right now, and she a senior now. She's one grade. He's one grade ahead of him. Uh, that's normal. ahead of her. Yeah. yeah, that's not that. It's not. Yeah. It's not abnormal. It's so cool when it's your yeah. son yeah. doing it, but your daughter. But you gotta be realistic. Like, you know, yeah. girls in high school don't date boys in high school. My da- my daughter is um my daughter. She's. I'm not gonna say I I grew up fast, but I definitely she's you know she got tattoos already. And, uh, you know what I mean? We but she, she got a gun. <laughs> but but she's she a great be. girl though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a great a kid. She got one tattoo. I ain't gonna she say tattoos, okay. but she has a tat. She got a crypto wallet. She has uh, <laughs> she has tenure at she, uh, the university. She she's very <laughs> honest. Ten years I can university. give her money. She, she gives you a lot. If she don't use it, she'll bring it right back. She'll be like, I didn't need this for the mm-hmm. movies or whatever it was. She real good with money. I give mm-hmm. her thirty dollars, fifty, whatever it is, it'll last forever. She just wants to touch. You better than me. If I give my kids thirty dollars, they're gonna be like I'm getting cussed out. Yeah, they're gonna I'm just saying whatever it is. Start crying. Whatever it is for the movies. Uh, yeah. They don't spend it. She don't spend. She real lightweight. So, but my punished? son is different though. <laughs> like dad, what's wrong? I got a son that's a little different, man. Um, How old is he? He's nine. And one time, uh, I gave my daughter. I think I gave her a hundred dollar bill, and I gave him five, and he lost it. <laughs> Look, my like kid lost it. Look, Elijah lost it. No, one Elijah be over my shoulder. Over like why she? You know, my son be <laughs> over my shoulder zeros. on a computer. I like, what are you doing, bro? So wh- how much of that is going to this and this and this and this? <laughs> that's and this? William. <laughs> He has a safe. This guy has a safe. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> what the? He wants to keep cash in the safe and money in the bank. You know what I'm saying? That's this guy's advanced. He's diversified. He's getting ready That's for the very diversified. <laughs> the shitty thing about a safe is that if you don't fucking open it like once a week and let it air out, mm. it gets like, Mo- it's like stale. Yeah. yeah. I always it's so hear, annoying. I always hear, dee, 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 dee. You got to wash that shit. He knows. He probably <laughs> has a, yeah. Elijah has an alarm in his phone for every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Open it up. He has a really dope safe. It's like high tech. Yeah, it ain't. But I think you still got to open it. But he opens it. If a it's lot. gonna be water and fireproof, then. But I, I always give him all whatever cash I have at the end of the day because he he loves. It's so precious to him, cash. Even though it ain't gonna be worth shit in a minute, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he loves cash. So Elijah's a millionaire. He's a, Rom, he gonna go <laughs> get his cash. own car and shit. Yeah. He gonna think he rented it. No, Dad, I just bought that. Yeah. <laughs> but he about to start this little Toro business. You know what I'm saying? A what? Like car rental. Oh, really? Yeah. So yeah. that's that's. One thing that I'm putting together, that's or he, up right now, we're too. putting together for yeah, him. That's what's going on. Yeah, so that'd be his first little thing by itself. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? So he about to be 16. So it's I have a bro. I be feeling so pressured to make sure that he's good, that he's not good. Like, oh, here's the money for this. Nah, that he can get money, that he know how to make money. Yep. That that's that's important to me. Like yeah. he set up, he went ahead and set up his own Shopify website, and the whole nine for his merch to sell merch, like drop ship. But um, I was like, this is good. But I don't want him to do that right now. I want him to do the Turo thing. It's super man. It's super easy. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's just I don't know. I, I feel like that's way more sustainable mm-hmm. than just promoting. Like I don't want him to have to be a guy promoting his shit. Like right. oh, you know, this is the new shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like you just rent cars. People yeah. always want cars and need cars. I want him to have him very practical. 
things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Business. So, yeah. and he's not. He ain't got the personality for that influencer shit anyway. That's not his thing. He's too reserved for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maker, though. Hmm? <laughs> Hmm? Like a little silent, quiet entrepreneur. Or something. Yeah, yeah, he's very serious. He scares mm-hmm. me sometimes. He's like father. <laughs> no, he he father. real direct. He real he definitely. I'm like, dude, take the bass out your voice when you're talking to me. You know what I'm saying? I said, oh, his voice got deep. Hey, one time I asked oh, him, I was like, "What's your birthday?" Voice than you heard. <laughs> really? He yeah. almost my height. Really? He's taller than me. <laughs> oh shit! Your car about to be here. Uh, I asked him his birthday. He was like October 31st. What? <laughs> he got the voice from the, like the movie Man, it's, it's, and shit. Yeah. He got that James Farmer. Earl Jones yeah. uh, James Earl Jones voice yeah. Yo I just want to say um, Shout out to all the people that's watching I have to go catch a flight man It was a pleasure to meet you yeah, man likewise. Sean I'm going to see you next week we got uh, eight week. Uh, oh, we got to do this, this check in. We got to do my check in. All right. So I got to go hard in the gym. He, he wants to spar me for his last week. Oh, jeez. Was you trying to uh, put on weight or no? Nah, just so just just, just be I'm right. Put on just chop up. Oh, okay. You can get fat after. You should have seen him before. What? Yeah. A mess. Yeah, he was a mess. I was a mess. skinny fat. I was skinny fat slim. Big. <laughs> 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 slim big. All right, bro. <laughs> My brother. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. you too. My friend in Freeze that said he watches you every day also. Yeah. Yes, Freeze. Freeze if you can. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll see you all in a minute. All right. All right. You got your, you got your, yourself in the car? Awesome. All right. Be good. All right. All right. Have a good, good flight, bro. Yes, sir. What were you saying? Yeah, he, he believes in flat earth and the Anunnaki and all of that shit. Really? And it's funny because I was reading the comments and they were like, yeah, he's on or something. And the North Pole. It's like, all right, that's cool. He believe in the North Pole? Listen. No, he believes that's where it's all going down. What I told him is this. I don't know, and I don't give a fuck. This could be a square world. I don't, it don't matter. Oh, so he said it's flat. Yeah. Oh, okay. I ain't on nobody. There's a lot of people in that shit. Really? I don't even care. Hmm. I don't even try to convince people it's round, because I don't even know if it's round. They say it's round. I don't know I t- nobody that fell off I, the earth. I take, <laughs> I take their word. I take their word. Gravity is not what they thought it was. Right. They say it might be pressure pushing us down. So it's not it's not a thing in the core of Earth pulling us down. That's that's thrown out the window. Yeah. The theory of you know the rel- relativity has been picked apart. You know what I'm saying? Einstein's theory of rel- relativity. So that's very interesting. But it makes sense because science is never exact. It always changes. Yeah, that's the fun and beauty of it. You mm-hmm. know, like it's always going to change because it's life. Yeah, we you we, know. We get smarter over time, and we learn yeah. more shit. Yeah. We got more perspective. That's just like uh, what was that? Uh, the uh, like the ozone opening up, the everything's mm. melting and all that. Now mm. all of a sudden, it's not melting. It's finding balance again. I don't know. Every- I don't know nothing about. I never pay attention to that shit because oh, it's yeah. like I'm not interested. Yeah, and I know if people. Gonna we're not going to drown. People are like, oh, that's fucked up, Mike. <laughs> you know what I'm, but I'm just not interested in that. All of that yeah. stuff. I, I really do. I mean, I, the interest I have is I want to see. The unanimous most compelling case for the Earth to be flat. Though. Flat. I just want to. I just want to see it for entertainment. Like right. and watch it. But here's the thing. Like, is though. it a wall at the end, or is it just a right? Because look, drop. me and you both, and and you have been with us and been on your own journeys too. I'm sure we've been to most parts of the world. Right. Mm-hmm. Where is the end? Maybe we, I'm sure. Maybe we haven't been to the end. No, because but, it's full circle. It's constantly. But doing yeah, this. but how, like we've been to Europe and we've been to Asia. Where does it? Where is the supposed end? There, how would have to be. But one. what if it's not that way? What if it's Antarctica vibes? You know what I'm saying? South Pole vibes. So it's only flat on one end. I don't know. Yeah, so I don't know anything. No, no, but that's what I'm wondering. Because then it, it then, makes sense for it to be round. Yeah, because then know? would it be like a cylinder in that case? Because you can go around it. But we don't know that though. We, we just know what they're telling us. No, no, no. But I'm saying we. I mean, unless of the whole thing. But we don't know. Like, all right, say when we're flying to Australia. Right. We have no idea where we're going. Right. For all I know, we might not even be moving. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It get to a certain point. You know point. we moving. Nah, Just but look, look but look. Window. Nah, but look. <laughs> all right, so one time, this was years ago, I was trying to break my fear of the ocean. I was in Miami. And I went, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to just go as far as I can. I'm going to just swim all the way out there. And <laughs> I am I went far as shit because it's shallow as hell, right? But then when I finally got to where the shit just dropped off, it just dropped off. And I'm like, fuck, that shit was scary. So I'm going, I'm like like waiting, and then a little bit of swimming, and then just kind of doggy paddling. And then, you know, I didn't see the shore. I was far. But but I was I was certain that I can just go right back. But 
I had turned around so much, not knowing which way is back. I didn't know which way was back, and I was, I almost panicked. I was swimming in the wrong direction first because I switched, and then I start. I seen a a, a buoy. I'm like, all right, that's the way I'm gonna go. And when I got to the buoy, I was so far from my hotel. I was exhausted, bro. <laughs> God, right? Damn. But it's salt water, so you don't really, you floating good. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, but make a long story short, I had no idea which direction I was going. I thought I was going a particular direction. Now, it's even less control in a plane. It's pressurized, all of that shit. And it's just, I've always been bored on planes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to feel something. I want to feel like I'm moving. You know what I'm saying? Now, that turbulence. Should be turbulence. Yeah, that should be. That shit but they have a to know. Times. They have to know to pilot the plane because we we say when we want to go to Dubai, it's not fifty fifty if we're going to get to Dubai. We're getting there, right. yeah. so they have to know how to get there. So they must right. know how to orient the plane in a direction. So mm-hmm. the the navigation system. But is, who does is, say that's around the world? This is what they tell us. Well, uh, the damn show ain't flat. But you would <laughs> don't you think you would see it at some point that there was some kind of like an arbitrary end. Nah, but what if we don't? Nah, I don't know. I don't think so. Because even in the because that means that every pilot, see, every international see. pilot would have to be in on the secret, right? Okay. Or unless it's a it's something diabolical and to where they're even duped. I don't know. Yeah. But but here's the thing. This is what I'm saying. Me personally, I don't care. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I don't trust nothing they say. Nothing. Nothing. Mm. I don't trust nothing on on the news and me. We was watching a thing on uh, Kim Jong Un last night on South Korea, right or North Korea. I'm like, I don't know if this is true. How do they know all these secrets about this guy? And, and North Korea is so fucking airtight. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They were just saying the worst things about this guy. I'm like, how do y'all really fucking know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and these were white people talking, like that wrote all these books. Like y'all not even Korean. How do y'all know? Right. You would stand out out there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't believe shit. You know what I'm saying? And I know how they've done like certain leaders of ours here in America. You know what I'm saying? Lying and shit, false narratives, whatever. Mm-hmm. They do their own people like that. Right. They, yeah. When it comes when it comes to the way that people or situations are portrayed, mm-hmm. you can't trust anything. Right. Because it's all about who's telling the story. Right. I agree with that. But yeah. I guess it makes 100%. it would be weird to make people think the earth is round. This one, this one's, it's, I'm only interested because it's so hard to understand why they would think different. I think that's why I want to see the most. Like there's no, there's no documents, no footage, no nothing that can even support the idea. And this isn't like going, this isn't like going to space because there's not a place on earth right now, save for where where Willie was talking about the North Pole, where we don't go often or Antarctica Mm. because of the extreme climates. There's not a place we don't go. Mm. So if that's the case, Someone would be encountering this this end of the world quite yeah. frequently. Yeah, like and not not we've not yeah we haven't taken around the an around the world mm-hmm. flight you and I, but we've been to enough places to have had to have encountered it if it existed. Yeah, yeah. Right. unless if That's like true. you said unless unless if the pilots are in on it. But man, it's so hard to keep a secret. Or or that they just don't know, and they I don't because you know they're not flying, they're punching it in right and it's going. Right, they flying when they take off and when they land. Mm-hmm. So, and pilots that really fly is not going that far. But if, but let's just say that it ended, mm-hmm. that would mean that there would have to be some type of because yeah. it can't be flat I, I, and I, continuous. I got you on that, but there are places in the world that are uninhabited and unclaimed, and nobody goes there. Like there's there's a place in Africa, it's really hard to get to, and there's been people that have made the voyage to get there to claim it. It's like a bunch of people that claim it's theirs. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But it's like there's places on the planet that no one goes to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they're but they're at least they're in somewhere to something. something that we yeah. do know. So yeah. like we know it exists for right, that reason. Right, right, right. But this end, no one can say. Hey, <laughs> but it's juicy to think about. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's why that's why we have it people have conversations like that this. just mysteriously just disappearing. Or oh, no, or or can report like yeah, you actually flip under it or something like yeah. something, right, right. what something. what happened? Something's got to happen. It would what be if, what movie if, short what if the people that is. spoke about it? But here's the thing: if somebody came out and said something, who would believe them? Nobody. It's Think tough. It. Nobody would believe that. But shit. like okay, but like Snowden. You gotta have some Snowden is my, my example uh-huh. of someone who came out 
and was like, yo, this shit is going on. You yeah. guys don't know about it, and here's the proof. But we know about Snowden, but most people don't know shit about Snowden. I, I mean, I think a lot of people do. I don't think so. Not bro. like younger people. Ask but people. Just ask, start asking people. Not people that seem to be in the know, but just normal, everyday people. Right. Your people that work at the grocery stores, your people that work at the gym, like just the regular, ordinary people, they don't know who the fuck Edward Snowden is. Well, they made a major motion picture about him, too. Come on, bro. It wasn't Titanic or no, it wasn't yeah. Black Panther. No, but I'm saying it's, it's, it's certainly not in proportion with the number of credible people talking mm. about Flat Earth. And mm. how many people saw it and just thought it was just a movie? Yeah, maybe. Think about the yeah. things that, like, really fucked up shit that you people have heard about yeah. or we know about, but nothing changes, nothing happens. Yeah. I mean, this coronavirus shit is weird as fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They about to lay off or fire 600. That's crazy. People, like, really? Y'all can afford the hero, to just the, the fire 600 People that were considered who? heroes um, last year. What, who was New it? York. New York. Um, um, New York um, the mayor. And United Airlines is... Firing their if they don't, own staff that, that ain't get the um, oh, vaccine. They're not getting vaccinated. You know? yeah, if okay. you're not getting vaccinated in certain places, you're getting laid off. So and it's crazy. It's like insane. nurses. It's like they were just considered heroes. Yeah. I mean, they, didn't, they was around all this sickness and this wasn't is how, vaccinated. So this is, a, this is what we got to look at. President Biden and what's the... Kamala Rice. Kamala Harris. Harris. Kamala Harris. Kamala. I just know she's They strange. were just saying six months ago, we would never mandate vaccines, Trump's vaccine. We would yeah. never mandate that, right? Now is mandates is is mm -hmm. is coming to pa vaccine passports, right? No one's talking about it. This is not shit that's been scrubbed off the internet. You can Google that shit, them talking about it right now. Yep. Nobody gives a fuck. Everybody going about their life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it could be a lot of but shit. But like going you said, on. we can we can pull up that video. Right. If you're if you're pointed towards it, if someone says, "Hey, right. bro, did you know Joe Biden at one point said he would never mandate vaccines?" Right. You're like, "No," -uh. and you're like, "Okay, let me show you the video because it is there." But how effective is that? Is us doing that to people we know? No, no, but I'm just saying it is yeah. there. But like this type of oh, well, uh, there might be some shit there. Yeah, that's what I want to yeah, see. Yeah. I want to see what is the. We got to go on a journey because it sounds like <laughs> it sounds like it's just Willie being like, "Yeah, no." Nah, I want to do shrooms and look at look, look, look into <laughs> yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's definitely right. I want to be presented with the tastiest bits about why this is the right, case right. and be able to, you know, maybe make a different decision. Yeah. Yeah. You've right been, now, well, go for it. Longs, I see the tires that do that. <laughs> that goes that, around and around. But it has to go on flat surface. The wheels. Though. That's wheels. on a flat surface. The earth, it has, you know, what is it? Majority water. Yeah. Boat on it is still like a flat surface for it. But the shit that so we occupy. We don't know no boat flat. that did a cartwheel. Submarine, maybe. <laughs> no, no. What the fuck are oh, submarines so, doing? What are y'all really doing? What are y'all doing man, down they there? Just, yeah. They're just looking for... Hey, Admiral, what are uh, you doing down there, bro? What are y'all doing? <laughs> yeah, they're just having a big old what orgy. Like, it's, you know, uncharted Yo, waters. I'm not trying to see no <laughs> parts of the submarine. I'm claustrophobic. They're scary. I, I went yeah, on one just, on just one as like a little like school trip or something. Yeah. It's scary on there. I don't want no parts of that shit. Yeah, it just feels like everything's just caving in on you. <sighs> yeah, I feel like yeah. you're supposed Where'd to die Where'd the pressure on get fucked yeah, up? Yeah, like you, you feel like you're about to die. Like, it right it now, does. It has. It's yeah, it's like, a, it's like a plane, but even scarier. <laughs> yeah. It's scarier than a plane. Would you rather... Because. Would you rather... Uh, sub You you had to die one of these ways. What, fire? No, no, no. Go down in a plane... Or a submarine, I don't know, implodes or some shit. Which would you prefer? Shit, neither. Great options. Damn, they're terrible. <laughs> neither. They both so suck. They're neck to neck. <laughs> yeah, they both suck. I guess I think, I'll just take I think whichever. The plane, <laughs> I think. Now nah, I say the submarine because I'll never be on a submarine. So I can't, can't have it. <laughs> no, you already said you have to. Nah, I'll yeah. never be on a submarine. So now when he go get on one, we go like, man, you heard about Mike? I'm not. Gonna get on a, I have no reason to get on a submarine. He opened it up underwater. He yeah. killed everyone. What if some shit happened, though, to where it's get like, out of here. you make a billion dollars, you'll be a hero. Get on the submarine. I'm like, fuck. fuck. I just said this shit on the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're going to be like, I got to get out of here. You're going to be like, what? 800 feet under just turning that motherfucking oh, kill everyone fuck. I get I get anxiety going the deeper I go just in a pool I'm like it's like I can't breathe right now like, I have a I have a great on, come idea come on, for on, a TV on. show what's that it's you as the host and the, the thing that has to happen is that people have to submit to you stupid shit that their friends always say that they would do and then one day you just show up and you're like alright here it is, like, and you got ten grand in a briefcase or whatever. <laughs> if you do, do the thing, but the, it's a thing that they know their friends know that they're not going to do. Right. 
It's like if you step in the ring, with you, so everyone uh, like, oh, I would fight so and so. Like, right. it's like, all right, I have him here, and I yeah. have uh, fifty thousand dollars if you go in the ring for one minute. You know, damn, <laughs> one minute is doable. Well, yeah, you whatever. Tell them three minutes. Yeah, no, five, yeah. If you three perform a full three, yeah, yeah. If you if you can get through a full round, yeah. then then here yeah. you go. You could run for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No running. Box them in a little corner. And shit. <laughs> you can say that, but human nature, man, them motherfuckers gonna run. Gonna put them in a three. They're feet literally by three gonna feet. run they hands gonna down. Run. Yeah. yeah, put them in a three feet by three feet. Oh, With a good fighter, probably gonna take about a minute for them to catch them and put them down, though. Yeah. Nah, you could be get real slippery and hold them and shit like that. <laughs> I've seen it. I've You're seen coming it. in with a lot of baby oil on this shit. <laughs> like, Somebody right. asked me, "Do I think I, could you beat Mike Tyson or ever?" I'm like, no. Nah, no. that old fool. I'm not that better. kind of man. I wish I was. I would like to think that I am. He's that, so far especially in a dark him and his, spot. but him in his prime of age, and then me at that age, I was a boy. He was a man when he was sixteen. Yeah, he was like two hundred pounds, thick. Yeah, he was a kid. Yeah, well, there's a video of him thirteen, like beefy. When I was thirteen, I was a, a twig. I was scrapping though, but I was a twig. Yeah, that video is circulating a lot right now of um, Ryan Garcia, the young man mm -hmm. who's who's coming up fast. Uh, his, you know, he has a, he puts a lot of, you know, he's like one of the first social media yeah. boxers who really came yeah. up on social. But he has a lot of videos of him doing combos, hitting pads, and, and right. hitting heavy bag. There's one of him doing it, and a lot of people think it's really impressive. He and then it's show him 21. Then they flash back yeah. Mike Tyson 18. Oh my God! <laughs> Big difference. Just as fast and the vicious. Two times bigger, yeah, yeah, and dangerously violent. Yeah, yeah. That that Mike Tyson was the anomaly. I think I always say he's the perfect heavyweight because he's smaller than he's stronger than them, or just a strong ass, but smaller than them, so he's faster. Little man speed, and that is so dangerous. Because mm -hmm. so, boxing is just it ain't how hard you could hit a motherfucker. It's hitting them without without them seeing it, right? You know what I'm saying? That yeah. he's not a normal person. His head is real big. His, <laughs> not for real. His hands and feet real big. Yeah. And you see him fight like really big guys in his prime, like Razor Ruddock and all these motherfuckers, hitting them hard. Yeah. He, like he was taking them shots. That motherfucker's a warrior, bro. Yeah. And yeah. you know what's interesting about him? Like when I've been watching his podcast and shit. How motherfuckers be so bound down. I'm like, this is boring. Y'all talk. They be like, man, you were just the greatest. Like I watched with Eminem on there. He's like, yeah, man, you were just. It's like, y'all, like, let's let's think about it, right? He's convicted of rape. I don't, he didn't do the shit, but he's a rape. They got that nasty mark on him, right? Right. Um, they say he blew his money, whatever, right? You see him on TV talking crazy as fuck, right? But for the record, that's my fucking guy. I love Mike. He can't do nothing wrong by me. You know what I'm saying? But according to America, he's like a terrible person, vicious, right? But they get on, when people get in front of him, they just show him so much admiration and love and respect because of violence. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It ain't like he's about to get up and assail them and attack them. But Man. they just fucking... The one when Bootsy they, was they, on there, Lil Bootsy was on there. That was funny. Yeah, he made him be quiet. Lil Boosie yeah. never be quiet. He always But Boosie, Boosie, he held was, himself like a man, though. I like that. Yeah, he had no other choice. Because when he was like, are you homosexual? He's like, nah. He didn't get all like, why would you say that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he had like, no other nah, choice. He's like, nah, man. I like, I like, I like, whatever. However he said it was kind of cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Mike, it seemed like Mike was just. Mike don't give a fuck. Bro. to just. just well, I, I really anything. feel what he was saying, though, because I feel, I, I feel like Mike. It's like, why would you go out of your way to say certain things about homosexuals? Like, what's it to you? Right. You got some, you feel a certain way? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was in jail. Because like, usually it'd be motherfuckers, like, this some real shit. I was in Atlanta. I used to go to Atlanta a lot, right, doing music and hustling and shit. And this was years ago. And it was a dude that used to help me out, like, get around and shit like that. He worked for one of my one of my, my OGs. And, um, but this motherfucker, one time, uh, there was some people... We had this apartment, and it was a, a cat I knew from Arizona, from Arizona State, from college, that he was living out there in that, that complex. And the dude was like, man, it's fucking faggot. Hey, faggots? He said that shit. I was like, why in the fuck? What is wrong with you, bro? Like, why would you do that? I was so embarrassed, right? Yeah. I'm like, why, why would you do that shit? In Atlanta, there's a lot of homosexuals. Yeah. 
So peep this. This is back in the MySpace days. Mm. MySpace or Black Planet, some of that shit. <laughs> and he used my computer. Or I needed to use his computer or some shit. And oh my God. This dude was straight homosexual. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that shit put shit in perspective to me. I'm like, damn, this dude just called these gay dudes every F word in the book loud too. And yeah, he's carrying on. He must hate himself. You know because yeah, he ain't got the balls to be open like them. He's not a man. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. Like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't get that shit. Hey, like, do y'all think that homosexuality is like people are born like that? Or you think it's a social thing? Yeah, I think they're born like that. Yeah, that's the, the, the chromosomes definitely be off. Yeah, I think it's definitely just different. Be off, yeah. You know, now when it comes to the women, I think a lot of them did it for a I, fad. I agree. No, yeah. I don't even think it's a fad. So I, I give you my experience with gay women and gay men because I never had really any exposure that I knew of to gay people until I moved to California, right? Specifically in Long Beach. Long Beach is a lot of, a lot of homosexuals, right? And I had a lot of friends that are. And I trained people because I, w- I worked at the Gold Gym out there, and all the girls that I was cool with that are that are lesbians, even the ones that are like more on the man side, they all we get comfortable enough. They start talking about I would have fucked him or mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or just girly stuff. The guys, I never they girls were disgusting to them. Kind of like how guys is disgusting to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's not a wet. It's not a chance. Yeah, it ain't no in between. It's not a chance, right? But with the girls, it's always. Yeah, but think about it. They using a prosthetic man unit. And so some of them don't even do that. Consider yourself. And some of them don't even do that. And, yeah, but and one in a relationship is still using one of them on a woman. Right. True. So it's like, right. How could like? What do you? Yeah. you might as well just get a dude exactly. with big ch- with big titties. Get your fat dude because yeah. you're they're nine times out of ten picking the ugliest chick mm-hmm. on the face of the earth to be they dude. But or see, whatever. see, women don't go on for looks like we do. You know what I'm saying? I'm convinced. Yeah. I'm not that. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're guys. You know what I'm saying? I think we're disgusting. I don't see why I even like us. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, but now nah, there's one girl that me and her dated, right? And this was like fresh out of college. And she told me that she was, she kind of dated a girl here or there, whatever. And she told me that the reason she did was because like she was with this guy all throughout high school and college. And she was just, she was like a very innocent person, and you know you don't people you don't you don't assume people just lie to you. And she had a whole double life, had a whole girl, whatever was doing the most, and she found out, and it fucking devastated her. And whenever me and her would be intimate, it was just awkward. You could tell she was very uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? And it came to where we got to a point to where she was like, "I just can't do this. I'm just not comfortable with a man like that." And I. It was real legit, and I seen her trauma from how that what that guy did to her. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And then I seen her. She's still a friend to me to this day. She's a dope person, but I seen her transform more and more into like being, you know, dressing like a lesbian, not like a man, but just like kind of like a boy, tucking a shirt in. Just you know what I'm saying? But she's the homie, and she's good people. But I seen her like, I mean, she was clearly attracted to a man. She was with a man for years, mm-hmm. but he did her so dirty, and it seemed like men. Sometimes when women get maybe raped or just mentally abused or cheated on or whatever, sometimes, you know, and women, they're more sweet and loving with each other and shit like that. They got a type of affection that we don't got. Sometimes that shit kind of like creates that space. I'm sure there's women maybe that's born just with no attraction to men. Yeah, I got a few couples like that 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 was just straight tomboys and mm-hmm. then when they came out black and girls we just like oh okay yeah like and then got like, males in the family that was mm-hmm. always the baby doll type mm-hmm. carrying them right. so it was like we, like but um in my in my own generation that wasn't tolerated mm-hmm. you know they thought you could beat the boy get beat it out of the boy mm-hmm. now it's like you ain't do nothing but made that long it just Shy away and yeah. you know don't it might want to hurt itself or something yeah, yeah yeah so that's why I'm like when I be seeing that in the males I just be like okay 
a lot of them, that's just how they are. Right. You know, it's, you got to be born that way. I don't know no straight man that wake up like, I want to try a dick today. Yeah, that's like, not that's The not fuck? Bad. I don't like, that. And I always tell my girl, I'll be like, man, all these gay dudes just make my job so much harder. I can't have these women out here just looking for men when I'm here. You know? <laughs> right, right. She'll be like, oh, you want your dick put in the dirt, huh? I'm <laughs> like, right. what? Yeah, I'm going to fucking kill you. Keep on. We're like, all right, Damn. whatever. I'm about to go out here and take care of these women. <laughs> yeah. I don't go nowhere, but yeah, it, it is like... That's what, and I think that's what's making the women run to the women, because mm-hmm. they like there's not enough of us men as it is. We already outnumbered, right. and then now it's like more and more dudes that we thought was gangster and straight and all this are you know secretly homosexuals, mm-hmm. and you know those are the ones I don't respect because they bring the disease back to the woman. The I woman agree. leave them, they bring it to us, and they, now but, we run around but here. They, they the traumatizing disease. these women because these yeah. women don't even know. Yeah, and they, they, they the ones that's tainted. But on the flip side, you got to think about, like, damn, that motherfucker probably living in torment because he's like, how can I come out the closet? Yeah. But still, yeah, but it ain't cool. It, it, it's not cool at all, you but, know? But I feel like now it's cool. It's accepted now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you still have those that still worried about, like, yeah. what they family member going to think about them yeah, or whatever. Fuck about shit. You know, and... Those like that, and if I see them still dating women, I look at them like, I don't respect your shit. Yeah, now, when you're like full blown, yeah. if you're full blown gay and you openly about it, because guess what? But, at the end of the day, you're still a man. Bisexual, you gay, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, I, I don't yeah. even look at that as you're gay. You're still that's gay. gay. Just you know? go over there, bro. Just like how Tank, commit. remember that um, that little incident when Tank was like, I don't think uh, a man is gay if he just sucked dick twice. Like, huh? Uh, he said that? Yeah, he said that. All right, so do y'all think this is gay? Now, Tyga, you know, some years ago, it came out that he was in a relationship with a transgender, and he knew it. Yeah. Recently, is another transgender, Nikita Dragon, said that he was trying to holler at her, like, hardcore, right? But treated her like shit in front of people. Like, get the fuck, all this weird shit, whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. But sent his guy to go holler at him for him, you know what I'm saying? And she looked like a woman, a little Asian girl, you know what I'm saying? I mean, she is a trans woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that is he gay? Yeah, that's gay. That's still a man. It's what still do you think, Sean? Is he gay? I don't know. Is she? She's a trans woman. Is she a trans woman or is she a uh, or does she? It's a boy that turned into a woman. But did she fully transition? Like, yeah, removed, I think, removed. I don't know. Everything? But I would assume. I so. mean, that's the line for me. Like, <laughs> so if they removed <laughs> like, don't, it, don't pull yeah, if they, they removed it. it you if they removed it, and I, no, I think they've they've actually committed to being a woman. And if you you wouldn't know, but is if they don't Tiger see gay for going after trans women? I I don't know to say if he like has a has a like a fetish for trans mm. women, like because like I don't know, I don't know what that means. That's, too much, That's too much to unpack. That's too much to unpack. I mean, of course, if you're single, yeah, and no, you met somebody, and you had no idea. No, I would be. I I guess for me and what I'm what I would want, I would I would rather not do that. Right, but it would be it would be tough. <laughs> They're so nice. Yeah, it'd be tough. It'd be tough to be in a situation where you didn't know. But I I know that's not the narrative. Yeah, this is a, a that's a that's yeah. a really famous person who right. who is known he for knew. that. Yeah. Um. So he definitely knows. So maybe he has some kind of a, a fetish a fetish for that. That's so bizarre. But I could I can't imagine so he's not weird. he's not also taking down regular girls too. Yeah, of course. But it's like just stay with regular. Let me not say that and get myself in trouble. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. I would think. Yeah, you would just keep with regular women. To me, if you're a, if you're a, a a straight male and you like go after trans women, like like as if you like that extra, because mm. it might be that this is just what's talked about because it's unique. But like the hundreds, of, if not thousands, of regular of just Way more just normal, women. Yeah, yeah, normal women that he's going, and not that she's not normal, but like biological women. Right, right, right. The right. thousands of those, there's just not a story there. And right. then, like, he's just going after everything. He and then, get, but this he is get, what came out. Talked about. Yeah. But it's like the one story. I only heard about this because she was talking about it publicly. And because she was like, fuck y'all making me feel like shit. But then in secret, try to, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. And that, that is fucked up. That yeah, is fucked up, yeah. yeah. That, that just be, I mean, that's just like, And that's just showing that's that he got gay tendencies. Yeah. If he can't acknowledge her as a woman in public, or even if it's a, yeah, you into like, that. Be like, it's a woman. Like, if you Say into it, a like, we in a I would respect, society, we don't care if you like that or not. I would respect it. Like, yeah. I don't have no judgment. Mm-hmm. I don't, I can't say I would do that, right? Yeah, that's like Chingy. Remember the rapper Chingy uh, with the one um, black chick that was transgender, but she never changed it. She still had her stuff. Mm-hmm. And she been with multiple rappers. Ooh. With multiple rappers. 
That's looks right. just like a woman, That's shaped rough. like a woman, talk That's like rough. a woman, everything, but she still have a man penis. Oh. And these rappers is she still screwing these rappers. So that right there, I still put it as gay. Because if not, if you that kinky, get you a straight woman that like to do kinky shit then. Nah, I'll you, be you like, really oh, okay, the they just some freaky mom. I'll just look at them as being freaky. Yeah. I wouldn't care. Like, they just yeah. freaky. But when you go get a woman that's a man still half man, half woman, and you know. We got a centaur. It's like the Minotaur. lights are on, and you see the same shit you got, and you still proceed. But, but, I, but I do it. I look at it different. I don't think that they're half man, half woman. I don't think that the clothes or the makeup make the no, but, man or no, woman. No, I'm talking about Genesis. the units. The, no, I know. This is what I'm saying. Mm. It. I don't think it's half man, half woman. I think it's just a man. Oh, like, yeah, I agree. Like, yeah, but I'm I talking agree. about when they still got like the tits and all that. That's why I'm yeah, that's that's just not, a dude with tits. It's still a man. Because dudes yeah. can get tits too. Dude, yeah. yeah, it's still a man, so though. It's, just, it's, it's not half man, half woman. It's just a man. That's a man. Yeah. yeah. That's a dude. That's a yeah. man who's dressing up. Like, yeah, and that's, I only, and that's just a. People are going to be like, who are you, who are you to say? I'm, I'm always saying for me. Yeah. Uh, that, that's the line. If you I have mean, your. It literally is a man. If you yeah, have the male genitalia still, you're still a man. Half man, half woman. Look, look, I'm willing to match anyone with effort with effort. Yeah. Yeah, right. If you if you if you cut the dick off, I acknowledge you as a woman. Right. That's, that's, that's it. That's, that's, that's it. Yeah. That's a fact. Hey, that's not a lot to but ask. Even if you got a dick, you want to be called a woman. I'm like, all right, sis. I don't care. Yeah. I call you what you want to be called. It's it's interesting though, but but th- that's to the point of is it gay? I th- mm. that's where I think yeah, like and yeah, I don't yeah. mean it's gay as in it's bad. It's, I think it's just gay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. Like that's if you're with a, a woman who's still. A, a, a professed woman or a claimed woman who has still male genitalia, that's that's gay to me. Yeah, yeah. I had a trans woman hit me up because she, I guess she didn't like what I was saying about the trans woman that competed in the Olympics. Oh, okay. Because right? mm-hmm. I had a, you know, I said the girl from the track, the girl that ran track that smoked weed. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's kind of unfair that she's banned when there's a trans woman, but is still anatomically a man. She just identifies as a woman, gets to compete in the Olympics. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And um, but she wanted to like, can we talk about this? I'm like, sure. But we never, it never, we never had that conversation. But I, I would have been down to talk, talk about it. You know what I mean? But I know they're very um, sensitive to the issues, mm-hmm. which is fine. Um, I don't, I don't know. It's cool. I have a conversation with anybody because I don't want to be offensive to people. You know what right. I'm saying? It's some shit I just don't understand. And I, mean, I and I enjoy perspectives like I yeah, do. And a lot of too. gays don't understand it as well. Yeah, because that's a whole nother you know, thing. Like that's, that's not a whole just gay. Other, yeah. yeah. Okay, so here's another one. Caitlyn Jenner. You know, me and Caitlyn Jenner sat by each other on a plane. You heard Bruce? To, to, did to, he rub your knee? To London. Nah. You got those on? Those nah, jeans? Nah. Hey. You know, it was interesting. Hand though. on those knees. <laughs> it was interesting. You can tell that she was very uncomfortable around me yeah and i felt like maybe she thought that i was judging her yeah and i really wasn't i would have been cool to have a combo like damn yeah. what's up like like what's up what made you no nah, i wouldn't ask that made you, know you take your dick <laughs> i would not ask that but apparently uh she has not done that i know and, and she still has, dating women though she has a girlfriend yeah she's a her. fucking lesbian no that's a transgender <laughs> as well oh so mm-hmm. that's a transgender i thought that was a real live woman it oh, is. So it's still a trans gay. woman. No, it's but still she, a man. But she had the surgery. The, I don't know. Partner. I don't know. There's two men still yeah. sitting there sore fighting. Well, not unless she did the surgery. Yeah. Then that's just a man with a pussy. No, that's not. That, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm gonna be fair. <laughs> There's you, no ovaries. If you finish, yeah, but that's okay. I'm not. No I'm not period. judging your ability to reproduce because some women can't reproduce. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can have the equipment and not be functional. So yeah. yeah. No, I so, agree but if that. you if you remove the male appendage, you're you're in. You're in, and I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm in with you. Like at that point, you committed. <laughs> you committed. You're a real yeah. one. Yeah. You're a real one. But now, nah, to each their own, man. This is fascinating times we live in. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So you could literally change your gender, and I don't think it's bad. It's just very interesting. And I don't, I don't like, you know, it's a lot of talk about the gay agenda. And I be talking to people, they be saying, I'm like, by who? Yeah, like, what is who, the, Who's putting out this gay agenda? Yeah. And what does that mean? Is it turning people gay? How does that happen? You know what I'm saying? And no one can ever give me an answer. They be like, is it a gay agenda? Is it a gay agenda? Femininity, all of this shit. What do they say? Masculinity is under attack. I'm like, by who? Women? Women is attacking men's masculinity. Like, what are y'all talking about? 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm sure y'all have heard that. Masculine. Yeah, you see a dude it, yeah. in a dress, like a singer or something, then they're like, see? See, there's a referendum. They, they're attacking masculinity. I'm like, that's a singer. I didn't know. That motherfucker wanted to put that on. To and, he got y'all, and, he got and he got y'all talk talking. About it. We're talking yeah. about him, and he's selling records. Yeah. And so if, if a motherfucker wears a dress, that don't make them gay. Nah. It's a kilt. But saying? even if he were a woman dress from Forever 21. Shit, um, think about it. What's the um, rapper uh, Young Thug? Remember? He wore a yeah. full blown and everybody dress. was talking like shit. But you hear in his lyrics, he said, every time I dress myself, I go viral. Yeah. Like, he's fucking with y'all. Yeah. But he, everybody's running with this. Conspiracy. It worked for him. It's like, these are rock stars. These are yeah. entertainers. These are not normal people. Yeah. yeah. They're on a gang of fucking drugs. They're yeah. partying every night. They're creative people. They're weird as shit. Mm-hmm. We, may, we love their music, and they do weird shit. Mm-hmm. Big deal. It comes Prince looked like a little woman, but he was slaying them. Yeah, he was. Yeah, Shakespearean woman. Women loved <laughs> yeah, Prince. Shakespearean yeah, woman. Prince was this big. Yeah, but heels on, his ass out, and knocking all the women, knocking them all down. Man, yeah, just be- how a person look and dress don't make that doesn't make them gay. No. Just like when they said Lil Wayne and Baby was gay because they kissed on the lips. I'm like, that don't make you gay. Make you gay is getting an erection for a man. A man getting an erection for a man. That's gay. Yeah. <laughs> They, tri- they they at the time that was like father and son, and yeah. that's how they chose to show love. That's how he raised them, though. It is what it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Most cultures, men kiss each other on the cheek. Yeah. When we when I was in Dubai, they do a nose kiss. They rub nose and go <laughs> twice. Rub nose like this. Men's nose on each other. Then there's almost lips, <laughs> and that's not considered gay. Hmm. I mean, in that part of the world, men hold hands. Like it's my homie. It's my homie. Hey, yeah, I'm gonna stay over that here. That part of the world, you know what I'm saying? And I, but when you there, when you peep it, it don't look gay. It, it seems like oh, we just homies. Is it's not part of our culture. That's not something yeah. that we do. I ain't gonna knock but nobody culture. It just look. It looks normal there. Maybe because I was there for so long. But there's a lot of gay shit over there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's a lot of gay shit over there. They can say the same if they came over here too. Yeah, like, yeah. Nah, but there's like there. literally a lot of gay shit. Well, you're not there. holding his hand. <laughs> that's, that's gay. gay. <laughs> well, you not you not securing your manhood to hold his hand. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's gay. I hate when people say that shit. Oh, you ain't securing your like. Motherfucker, shut up. I'm not gonna let you dummy me down. Right, right, right. Like, you uh, guys tricking me. Yeah, yeah. Trick me out of my position. You 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 too you 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 not secure to get your secure enough to get your salad toss? You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> to each their own. But all right, we getting pretty mannish and ridiculous right now. Yeah. yeah. So it took a hell judgmental. of a turn. <laughs> a hell of a turn. Flat earth. Trans hey, Fucking wieners look, Chopped off And but shit Listen I was going back and forth Oh Which was what It was like I was at dinner with five 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 of the homies It was four of them against me Cause they was talking that Referendum shit That attack on masculinity That gay agenda And I'm like bro I hear you And I'm open But who No one can tell me Who the agenda was uh, Articulated by And what's the plan Right and they were saying, my kids can't do this and do that or whatever. And I said, what if your son turned out to be gay? What do you do? I'm going to fuck that shit. I'm like, look, yeah, what about you? I'm like the most alpha dude there, according to them. Like, Because like, they kept saying, putting it on me. i like, well, if my son was gay, I'd love him harder. Yeah. I'd be closer to him. You know what I'm saying? He's not. But yeah. if he was, he's he's more my guy, you know what I'm saying? Because I know how fucked up and judgmental people are, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody fucking with them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it, it, it's like, it is, I think a homosexual, a person born homosexual, that's natural. Yeah. Because they were born like that. Just like animals don't give a fuck, they'll fuck anything, you know what I'm saying? They fuck other species, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. They fuck pillows, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> But, you know, it's people that's born that like that, that like the same sex. I think it's all nat- it's all natural. We all humans, you know what I'm saying? So Man, who to say what's natural and what's not? I just yeah. know what's natural to me on where I go with yeah. it. And, it's my preferences. Yeah, because a lot of stuff I do, they don't like. Right, they think it's gross. Yeah, they think it's gross. He sucked her titty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, yeah. I, I remember the first time I seen some gay people like kissing. If it couldn't, my brain couldn't compute it. <laughs> I never even, I don't think anybody even talked to me that told me that was a thing. 
I'm riding my bike. I'm like, what? What just happened? My my brain was oozing out my ears. Like, this is doing, what's happening? <laughs> it was so bizarre. Yeah. But then I see nothing else until I moved to California when I was older. And I ain't going to lie, I was, on, I was like very on edge. You know what I'm saying? I've never been around that shit like that. I'm just like, what you looking at? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like they just go touch yeah. him and turn him gay and shit. Like, nah, that <laughs> shit felt uncomfortable when I'm around. When you're, look, when you're a young man, early 20s, and we old school, like, you know, that's 20 years ago for me. You know what I'm saying? So the world wasn't as friendly and as accepting. It wasn't as common. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. And for me to be around it, and I think somebody's staring at me like they like me, it was very ignorant of me. You know what I'm saying? But I used to be like, what the fuck you looking at? You know what I'm saying? But I'd be like that anyway. <laughs> I'd be like that now if a regular <laughs> motherfucker staring at me like, what the fuck you looking at, bro? But back then, it was scary to me. It's like, I don't know nothing about this shit. These are men. Mm-hmm. They strong too. <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm saying? They can fight their ass yeah. off most of them. Right. It seems like what uh, what they were calling the the people you, when you were talking about with the gay agenda, mm-hmm. it seems like what they were calling the gay agenda is really just like gay acceptance and understanding and awareness. They're That's really it. it. They're mad about it. Then. Yeah, they're mad about or or they don't they can't haven't come to terms with that yet because if you're calling it the gay agenda, like you said, there is no agenda. Right. It's just simply the entry of that possibility into the culture, and then the awareness that it is a thing. So people who who for generations past had been hiding it or mm-hmm. yeah. unable to speak now had a voice. So what was there all along has now come to light. Yeah, it came to light. It's not an right. agenda to turn people gay. Yeah, it's not a thing. Yeah, yeah, there's not a reason for that. Yeah, and if it if somebody turns gay, then oh well, like you were just gay. Know. Like, I don't see no gay people waking up like, oh, I'm about to go turn me some guys gay. Nah, no, nah, I know somebody like that. <laughs> really? Because <laughs> I know my one thing, they have a harder life than us straight people nah, listen, because my, they never faithful. One of my homies, he's gay. I ain't gonna say your name. And he just wake up. And he just, my, I love him to death, but he only likes straight dudes. I pointed out gay dudes to him before. I like, hey, you like you like so and so. There you go, right there. He like, I don't like. If I want a girl, I date a girl. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know it is what it is. That's you know? crazy. But um, but yeah. On that note, I don't know. Maybe this is getting weird. So <laughs> let's go ahead and wrap it up. But nah, much love to everybody. Um, yeah. shit, we just homies sitting here shooting the shit, mm-hmm. talking and shit. So with anyway. the newest athlete for course. Yeah, right. Oh right. man, Thank you, for you got me. your, you got your. Okay. Go ahead and plug your, plug your, plug your, plug your sponsors, baby. I got a couple of sponsors. sponsors. I got Tums, not for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Smaller. Hey, all right. So break. you said that you drink that for hydration, right? Yeah, to stay hydrated. Now, when we was in Haiti, we were up in this mountain, at mm-hmm. like this this uh, fortress, and we was coming down, and I drank beer for hydration too. Mm-hmm. What was it called? High High Point or High Top? So it's like the national beer in Haiti. Yeah, it's a true story. A lot of people and the be shit thinking, was, it was great. They be it was thinking very that I'm though. Like it's really it's a I true statement when I say that. But I don't do that. On the like when I'm done working out, like because at first I used to do a lot of Patron. After I'm training. you worked out? No, while I'm training. Why? Focus. Yeah. Like it I don't get buzz. Like you That's know, like the only way you get buzz if you in certain settings. You drink just enough to get the focus. How much is that? Mm, like a shot, shot and a half. Got it. To get the focus, like if I want heavy lifts, that. like it never, for instance, when it I do never, heavy lifts, it never impairs like your um, your like judgment and everything. I, I, no, I don't know about it judgment because we one shot up the blood flow more. Like when I do heavy it? heavy lifts, mm-hmm. I've been and had some strong liquor, really? hard liquor, yeah. Because it it gets your always, mind. I always notice you always have a gang of liquor, but I never yeah. seen you drunk. Yeah, knock. I don't get drunk. Mm-hmm. I don't drink to get drunk. Right. And um, I do. Yeah, like, <laughs> but like, and then if I'm at home, if I feel mm-hmm. like making a drink, I'm nine times out of ten I don't finish it. Mm-hmm. You know, but uh, because I learned to use it for what I need it for. Right. That's the difference. Like most people back in the days, it was like a medicine, yeah. bourbon, and all that. It was yeah, like yeah. more of a oh, medicine for pain. That's true. So yeah. when I want a heavy lift or whatever, or for instance, even if I get on my bike. Mm-hmm. If I ain't ride my bike for longer than three months, mm-hmm. I'm going to take a shot and a half. I'm going to start reprogramming my mind of clutch, brake, gas, 
uh, reaction, lean. I replayed well, it. We gonna keep this out the way. I don't want you getting pulled over. You know, DUI. You know no, no, I mean? no. You can't. That's not. Um, that's still legal. Oh, really? A shot? Yeah, it's legal. As long mm. as you're under point oh eight. Yeah. How much? How much? It's not because it, it ain't gonna just. It ain't gonna just shit face. How, you. how much gets you there though? Point oh eight. How much? For, for, for a guy who's that big, it's probably gonna be two to three. Yeah, shots. two to three shots okay. that have you to where you're going to jail. You know, it's interesting, man. Like I hadn't drinking in many years until like last year. Till COVID year, no, the really. beginning of the um, year. Remember, we um, New Year's, we brought it in. Yeah, with fucking drinks. We, we had a ball. We brought it in, with fucking drinks. That's when like, I, I knew I liked your girl because she she put up with our, our childish I, I, right. She was able to put up with that <laughs> yeah. shit. That's what I look because look, that was like a big test for me, right? Because I told her, I said, these are some of my good friends yeah. to where I can actually go around and be yeah. me, yeah. be comfortable with no yeah. guards up, right. don't have to carry no protection, none of that, yeah. you know. And when I brought her around, and she was just laid back, she was chill, chill. Nice. a lot like your wife, like a goofy version of you. Like she's, and we the same sign. Mm. So uh, yeah. it's just I can read a whole lot more y'all, than her. Y'all felt good together. It felt yeah, good, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but nah. So like last year, I, for the first time in years, maybe the year before, I don't know, but very sparse. So I, I like Corey. You remember the tall dude? That came, yeah. he, mm-hmm. well, he just came out to hang out um, a few days ago, just for a night, and we just sat up talking, you know, with a glass of XO Hennessy, and I felt nothing, and it was just gross. That ain't and the drink I, for you, then. No, I usually love that drink, mm-hmm. right? But I feel like my something in me is changing to where alcohol is not. Some telling me like, stop drinking that. You don't need it because I feel like when I started drinking years ago, it was like the same. Like I'm not really getting nothing out of it, mm-hmm. and I'm probably fucking my body up. So maybe I should just stop. Cause it's not because I'll do a little bit of a trade off. Yeah. Like if if I'm getting having a good time, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I no buzz at all. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Something mm-hmm. like yeah. I mean, I'm, I think I'm gonna stop. It ain't really doing nothing yeah. for me. And that's why I said it goes back to when I say I drink for to use it for what I need it for. Right. Like right. I know it give me razor sharp focus. Mm-hmm. Like with expos, I got to right. have some type of liquor in me to right, be right. dealing with all these people, yeah. you know, because... I knock the edge off a little bit. Yeah, because I'm still used to what they coming up here for. Like, mm-hmm. is this motherfucker going to try to hit me for rich? Yeah. Or this and that. So I'm always right. on the edge when yeah. I'm in those type of settings. That's why a lot of times I'll be like, and I always got people with me for if mm-hmm. it do happen, get them. Because mm-hmm. if they get a lucky one and I'm down, like, get them. I know when I wake mm-hmm. up. Yeah. That person really got his ass handed to him, mm-hmm. you know, and that's the same thing like with motorcycle. I'm at a really high level, so I don't have mm-hmm. to entertain. Then I have, I got about eight, nine guards mm-hmm. that surrounds me, right. you know, are just watching or in the cut and yeah. everything. So, and then my motorcycle bright as hell. So mm-hmm. I'm always, I'm like a really target out there. So I make sure that I, I put the right protection around there. It's something, it's something you don't even know about me, right? We homies. It, it's it's from where, how we were raised and grew up. When I go out, out, I have like two people there that nobody knows. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I can't shake that. Yeah, it's you know like because you never know because I can't shake that. The the thing in the black community, they got this thing that you think you better or you you know you reminding them that they fucking up. So if you don't pull up enough of them, they feel like okay. He there now. Let me go take what he have. So it's like you have to always keep that mind state of it's somebody waiting to try to take what I got. And in order to eliminate that, you got to keep those around you that it won't even get to you. They had already, you know, sniffed it out and took care of it and everything. To I, where that, my, my thing is like I've been a part of a lot of, you know, things in my past that I felt like I never got payback for you yeah. know what I'm saying so I'm like alright let me just watch my back and also it could be thing. I've seen people get fucked up that have nothing to do with anything Yeah, just being out trying to have fun so mm-hmm. you know it, you know especially I'm out with my girl or something like that I'm just like man I mean you see what happened in Vegas that one time uh, those guys the guy tried to like clothesline me yeah try to clothesline you it was bizarre he's drunk he's yeah. feeling himself you know what I'm saying yeah. so it's like you know, out in LA, like, cause I never, I've never went out until like recently, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, just here and there. And I, LA is fucking fun. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a That's lot of a lot, stuff out there, but it's, it's a, a lot, lot of, of it's a lot of trouble. shit. So I, you know, and I was, it was getting to me like that when I was in Miami and I had to check myself cause that was a little bit different. Like in Miami, my old business partner, who's not a good dude, 
and I was learning that he was having, he was starting to like hire a driver and all of this shit. And um, I was turning into the old me, right? I remember walking up to his driver, my shoulder like right, right in his chest, like and pointing in his face, like, oh, this is your driver, huh? This your driver. <laughs> and I'm, 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 yeah, I'm just, I'm just pissing the territory. I can't help it. Yeah. I can't fucking help. I'm even like that in the gym. If I go in a new gym and there's somebody getting after some heavy ass shit that yeah, I don't know, yeah, I gotta go get heavier shit yeah. by them. You know what I'm saying? But but stakes is a little bit higher in in social settings. So I felt I felt myself getting real dark and like digressing to my old school ways and like like about to move some of my guys to Miami, like, hey bro, I think I need you in Miami. And then I'm like, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm. It's I'm like you're working so hard. To I miss the positivity. That. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like sometimes, man, that shit is on you forever. Dark yeah. side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's in you. Like I know, like the reason why this is the main reason why I started the motorcycle club was mm -hmm. to give a lot of teacher and brotherhood, give them something else to do besides I, being I on the corner. That. I fuck you know, with that. And I fuck with that big time. Like everybody that's coming, like man, the club saved my life. Mm -hmm. So. And I know it's like it put me in the wrong light, but I'm willing to be in that light for enough time to in order to keep on um, making this mode to mm. to men mentor men. Right. You know, see, this is part of like when they say society's soft and men is feminine. I, I see that. Right. Mm. But shit like that, like some kind of fraternity, some kind of yeah. brotherhood. Were you in a fraternity in college or anything no. like that? No. But that kind of shit, just that team, that shit is really beneficial. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and, and, and men, because you just like like when a dog is trained, you know, the trainer is training the dog, but he's also using other dogs to train a pack to train right. a dog. And we kind of keep each other in check. Yeah. Men. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Especially when they all solid and then there's a, a code of ethic right. and there's rules. You know what I'm saying? Right. And we all gonna uh, adhere to these rules. And that's why, like, it's interesting, man. Like a lot of people from the streets that I know that, you know, have graduated out of those activities still have certain principles that a lot of motherfuckers in business don't have no principles. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That I I'm like, it's way more honor in the streets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? In certain walks of life, people are very disrespectful. They'll do anything behind your back, say anything about you behind your back. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They shake your hand and hate you. Yeah. You know what I mean? All of that shit. Yeah. So it's a lot of a lot can be learned from those kind of brotherhoods and, and fraternities and, and things of that nature. You know? Yeah. And and now I just got a little more time to go because my next level that I move up to, I'm gonna just go national, which means I don't have to be around it no more. I don't. Mm. All I do is. If I want to open up another chapter, let's say in uh, Wyoming, I mm -hmm. go out there, get to know the nationals out there, the different clubs. How do people become a member of your 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 club, your motorcycle you gotta club? Get you gotta get background check. You know, you got they gotta be around mm -hmm. for a minute. The rest of the brothers gotta be able to fill them out if they like. Is it word of mouth, or do you have a website or something to where no, people no, no, can no, tap no. in? Mm -mm. No, it's 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 a small, it's not small, but it's it's like an underground cult. So. Right. Everybody right now want to be a part of my mm. club because mm. it's the newest thing. And my club not supposed to be a club. Mm. It's enough motorcycle clubs and social clubs. So they said that there's no way anybody could bring a club out again. But the mm. way I came, it was no way they couldn't let me do it because right. I came with respect. And I told them what I'm trying to do. I'm building a brotherhood. Mm. I'm like, I don't care. Either we going to be out here. Mm. We're going to do it the right way with respect. We're going to mm -hmm. wear soft colors, which means we're not going to wear cuts. Mm -hmm. We're going to have the shirts on. I said, we're going to start off with soft colors. Explain what that means. Uh, soft colors is um, when you're not wearing, like cuts is your vest. Colors is the actual patches. Mm -hmm. Now, the soft colors is it's just the print of your logo. You get mm -hmm. the print. It's like a printed shirt. Mm -hmm. You're wearing that. You go to everybody event. You support everyone. You get to get you get to get noticed. Mm -hmm. Um and they see you. And so so cut is the vest, right? Yeah, that's the vest. So why not wear, wear that? Because it's disrespectful just coming out like that. Okay. Because it's, it's, you know, you got the Mongols, Hells Angels, Vargos, Vandinos, mm. Chosen Few, Second mm. to None, mm. uh, Outcasts. Then you got- How many of them are black? Um, black clubs? Yeah. Um, one percenters? You got Second to None, Outcasts, Chosen Few is mixed. It's about maybe- 
it's not many all mm. black clubs. That's the one percent down to ninety nine percent. What's a one percenter? One percent is um an outlaw. Mm. Meaning that they got their own rules, they got their mm. own stuff they follow, they not okay. up under anyone. Okay. It's like a renegade. Okay. You know, and then you got a ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent is in a full community of those that follow the follow the laws. Okay. You know, and um up under mm. other clubs mm. and pretty much up under like certain one percent clubs and everything. Right. So it's a pecking order. If they say mm. this, 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 you gotta follow it like mm. that. Yeah. My club, we're ninety nine percent standalone, so we pretty much like treading the fence. If I wanted to be a one percenter, I could, mm. no questions. Mm. But I don't. I'd rather be a standalone to where there's no big brother over us. Mm. You know, and um when I went but to yeah, these I still different show respect to all the rules and the guidelines. Yeah, like when I went to these different um organizations to have these meetings with them about what's what's going on, what I want to do. Mm. At first they was against it. Mm. But then once they seen where I was going and it was like, man, you think you can handle it, this and that? I'm like, it's not my first time doing this. And then mm -hmm. when they found out what club I came from, mm -hmm. they thought I was bringing out a 1% club because mm -hmm. I come from a 1% right. club. So mm -hmm. they like, so right then and there, they was like, damn, he came from over there. So he not new to this. Mm -hmm. And he's one of those hot boys. So mm -hmm. we can't really play with him. Yeah. So if he got, and then my club is 99% game banging, game members. Mm -hmm. You know, and a lot of them are still active, but I'm teaching them, and we all teaching each other how to transition. Because I right. said, if I was able to do it, there's no excuse for none of y'all. Right. You know, so my um my co-founder VP, he's one of those like he's young, 31. He's one of mm -hmm. those that's still running around with two guns and all that. He acts. I, I see him slowing down. Mm -hmm. He don't even carry a gun all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's learning his shit. Right. And I'm like, so I can see the growth. I can see. That he want to learn, and and it's a young squad that look up to him. Mm. They following his his way. Right. And then I have a, a chapter that's all older cats, mm. and they all know it's a pecking order and how we gonna conduct ourselves. And mm. I always tell them the number one rule is respect. Right. You gotta always respect each other. No one should ever be disrespected. And if it's disrespect, you know you either potentially losing your colors, getting mm. kicked out of the club, suspension. Mm. Um, Leave an absence. It's a lot of things. Like, you know, I pretty much had to force two members off of the board. Mm -hmm. So I have to replace it. I had to get rid of the treasurer, right. the business manager, mm -hmm. you know, because um, once they start outsourcing, talking to other peoples about what's going on with the club, that creates friction. Yeah. And there's no respect for me, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, you can't be a part of that. This is Y'all don't have a vision. I had a vision. Right. And the club just blew up. We ain't even had six months out and already have four chapters. That's impressive. Like I don't I lost count after a hundred members. Right. Wow. You got you got me wanting to get a bike. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's dope. You know? It's dope. But you know, like I tell people, motorcycling is fun, mm. but it only take a tenth of a second to become very dangerous. Mm. You know I used saying? to ride. I rode for years. Yeah, so you yeah. know it only mm. take it's only this much and it can become dangerous. Your right. wife rides. She, she she's had a bike before. So have I. Yeah. Yeah. So you know too, like it can become dangerous. Like that's all it takes is mm -hmm. so I like, you know, the clowning around like my my club brothers, they told me it was like Prez, you can't keep pulling up doing crazy stuff because if you fall on your bike, the whole club gonna look bad. Right. So I went from okay, I just willy. Then I like mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna do that. Now I just ride like I'm mature. You know, like <laughs> right. yeah, because I got to the point where I'm like, I want to raise this long. Yeah, Everybody I had no goes, desire to do any of that shit. Yeah. I used to. I was, that's see, I was doing. I I remember my first time doing that shit. It was by accident back yeah. in the day. I was like, oh shit, pop that clutch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I taught myself how to ride too. Yeah, yeah, I did the same. I was thing one of them that. dudes scared to lean and turn, like turning like this. Oh snap! Bye my first, you know what I'm <laughs> I just my goal back in, back then was just to ride with a girl on my back. That was all I wanted to do. Damn, put a, put a girl on my back. You know what I'm saying? It's not I was, a bad goal. I was riding in AZ. <laughs> we didn't have to wear lids, so I used to love that. Man, that's just Bang, scary. Bang on my face, sunglasses. That's scary. But one time I was riding in this, what is it called? Avondale, some shit. But it was like this long ass road and just like trees and shit. 
I didn't have a bandana on. Oh my God, it was the most disgusting. Just Some bugs got you. Oh my God. Yeah. And I had to get back. Like, oh my, it was terrible. Yeah. Was that? that just doesn't sound enjoyable at nah, all. But I, <laughs> that was the only time. But you were in the freeway, whatever, you don't experience that. But it was where them trees and shit was at. Yeah. It was disgusting. But nah, but nah, I, I feel like I want to ride again. Like, just some cool, a cruiser. You should. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. Should. You yeah. Should. It's, it'd be dope now because you're more mature. So you yeah, know sure. not to take the crazier risk. Yeah. Like, with this club. And I, didn't, I wasn't even crazy back then. I was still yeah. very cautious. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Okay. But 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 now I wouldn't even get that kind of bike, like a crotch rocket. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to go hard. Yeah. You got to go hard. You can't yeah. have your woman on a... She, like... So, at first, I didn't like the style of your bikes. Mm-hmm. Like, but then, like, this... I, I keep seeing them and I hear it like they grow on you man that fucking it's ferocious yeah, it's like it's a V12 aggressive. for a bike it's aggressive. the sound is so you know what I'm saying it's like damn you know what I mean so yeah. I kind of feel like mm, let me let me look let me let me look look a little deeper you know what I'm saying so yeah, yeah just let me there. know man I'll drop it off on you you just keep it for a couple of weeks and then you gotta fill it out see if you like you, it you got the one or you got more than one I have more than one I don't want the yellow. That's too bright for me, bro. My other one is bright too, but oh, that one's too too fast. Okay. Yeah. What, what color is that? Green? Nah. Uh, like electric orange. Oh, why you do these loud colors, bro? Man, I just you love you black people color. love loud shit. You black people's just you know it's just us <laughs> black people's bro. Like I like all black. Yeah. Black nah, black that blends shit. in. And then at night on the that. freeway, I, I, I want to be seen. I can see that. A person, I can see like that. the yellow one glows. That makes a lot of fucking sense. You yeah, make a lot glow, of sense right yeah, now, buddy. It glows. I want to yeah. be seen. I can see you that. You know, like, yeah. the worst thing in the world is getting hit, and they say, I didn't see you. Mm-hmm. You hit me on that neon bike, they like, yeah. you can't say you didn't see this dude. Like, Yo, that's I can always thing. be like, it was a hate crime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I can always put 10 on it, you know? But right. yeah. No, nah, oh, like it's 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 definitely like that's the one thing that kept me kind of balanced mm. going through anything emotional because right. when you get on a bike, you gotta be, you you're yeah. not angry, right? You yeah. can be angry as shit. You get on that remember, bike, you're not I miss angry. That feeling, bro. Yeah, Just man. Riding, like one know. of the best feelings is yeah. the feeling of. Being on the freeway, yeah. just, just going in yeah. that air, huh? Yeah. That's just that. And just, it's like as like as close as you get to feel like you're flying, yeah. Because right? there's yeah. nothing between you and the road, it's like nothing. to your left <laughs> yeah. and to your right, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And and you know, yeah. Obviously, the bike's under you, but if you're in the right view and you're looking forward, just feel you, like you're flying. You're flying, yeah. You definitely flying, right. yeah. I agree. That right there. And the only thing that's close to that, to where I feel like I can be angry and everything go, is my kids. Mm-hmm. You know. Like the motherfuckers you can be angry, mine. You can be pissed, they and they mad. come, and it just changes the whole dynamics of nah. everything. And you like, nice, bro, what bro I get, you? I get very angry sometimes. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I just deal with it. I, I deal with it. Yeah. And I tell people too. Like we was at dinner the other day. My girl was talking like, "Yeah, you need therapy." I'm like, "I don't." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because cause I'm telling you, like, I'm fucking like, like certain times I be fucking pissed, right? And I tell her, but. She don't understand. Before I wouldn't say shit and just explode so you're somewhere. Steps, baby steps. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But nah, yeah. I don't do anything. Like I don't. No, but I'm up. saying by even mentioning it. Yeah, I'm just trying to like talk to her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. she doesn't need therapy. I don't. You know, like, like <laughs> in our relationships, we supposed to be our significant other, counselor, yeah. therapist, yeah. support. Like we supposed to be all of those things. Right. You know, and maybe she don't feel like she up to speed for that. There ain't nothing wrong with therapy. Nah, I'll maybe she right just, now. you know, we still kind of new, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. maybe she don't know if I will snap and, you know what I'm saying, body slam somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, but you will, but though. I won't, bro. I witnessed it. Bro, that was something. <laughs> it was at Chick-fil-A, that you was, body on, slammed man. a come dude on, over a chicken sandwich. He didn't give me my Polynesian sauce. That's different. You have to give him the sauce. You have to give him my give sauce. Him two? Two. two. Yeah. All right. See, I didn't know that. If I know that, right. I'd have been like, hey, get the sauce. And he nah, didn't know either. Listen, on that note, on that note, man, I love you, my bro. Love you glad, too. glad you came down. Sean, love you too, motherfucker. Thank you. Yeah. And we up out of here. We holler at y'all next time. Peace. Yeah, we out. Peace.